play some music. Okay. Perfect. And then I'll see if the stream comes up. Looks like it. Looks like it's going to work. So I will bring up chat and I'll bring up my software here. One sec. There's chat. Okay, cool. Good morning, guys. So uh, today on the Geeks Patreon server, I'm on the Ragnarok server. And actually, um, I have uh, Dynamic D here, if you want to say hi. Hey, guys. So I had been doing a bunch of prep and, and setting this place up so I can build. And, and today, I think the plan is to build a boat. So the place that I have here, let me get this image off the screen. I don't really have a place. So it's just this uh, little island where I'd built a tiny dumpy little Jerboa house. And then today I think the plan is to go build a boat so that I can clear some of the, the stuff out of here and maybe turn this into an adorable little place for the uh, small pillar. But uh, we have the, the big and the small pillars. And uh, yeah, man, thank you. You've done tons and tons of prep, so we should be able to build smoothly today, build whatever we want. Yeah, no problems, man. Cool. Absolutely no problems. Well, I am going to take, so I'm going to see if I can take uh, this large pillar out and figure out where I'm going to build, actually start the construction on the boat. So we'll see. Um, and, oh, I'm going to mention uh, a couple of things I should mention right at the beginning. Um, what was I going to say? Yeah, try and do the streams every, uh, sorry, every weekend, Saturday, Sunday at 11 a.m. That's the usual plan. And um, uh, all the streams are basically brought to you guys by my Patreon supporters, one of, one of which is Dynamic D, and which is all the people playing on this server. So, um I am going to, sorry, I got to clear out my inventory to make room to go place this raft I want to place. Perfect. Uh-oh. My game froze there for a second, scared me. Um, I have also been having technical issues, so if the stream cuts out, people, that is why. Um, what was the other thing I was going to mention? Yeah, Logic Servers always sponsor our, our servers here for the, the patrons, so there's a link for them in the description. You can get a cheaper server. I'm going to try and adjust my webcam a little bit there we'll see got new headphones suggestion of arali my old ones died he said this is the brand he has i don't think his are this exact color though i think he got like some some much more normal colored ones but these were super cheap um they're like a brown and gold but i kind of liked it so i'm thinking i'll go try and find a little home temporary home for my large pillar which i've never placed and i'll put it right out here Uh, do that. And then we should have a big area to build with. Yeah, I think that should be more than enough. And I'll go put the raft out there. All right, and people should let me know how the, the volume sounds, the audio and everything. I had showed you, uh, D, that I was thinking about building a... Uh, a big sort of cargo steamboat type build today. Yeah, yeah, you're from uh, stone, right? Yeah, I think I think stone seemed like the sensible thing to start with. I know you'd already prepped a lot of that, but if we decided it'll look better with something else, we could definitely try that. Yeah, I prepped a lot of things, so and you got you can go all directions now. Cool, so. man. No, that should be cool. Um, okay, so I'll move this over here, and then maybe I'll use my little boat to uh, load up with some building materials and ferry out so that I can build it out here. I can actually oh, get you some of that stuff and like a, one of the S plus workbenches. My bear has like 2,000 weight on it. Okay, cool. We can definitely do that. I just wasn't sure. I guess if it's a good bear, he'll have no trouble getting across the water here. There'll be nothing in there that'll give him trouble. That's a good bear. It's one of those great bears from the center server yes. that I brought over. S same as this one that that uh, is here for me. I think you guys brought this one over. Uh, you and Jam. Uh, so, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. I brought that one over as a gift. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. People sound in the audio setting. The audio is perfect. But yes, thank you, man. Not just supplies, but uh, creatures. There we go. Okay. So that boat is prepped. I think the first few things I did were just some uh, stone foundations, stone triangle foundations, stone walls. I think that was the basic stuff I'd started over here.
Uh, stone walls. Am I gonna be able to carry that? Yeah. That's always the biggest question. Can't I carry that or can I not carry that? So yeah, I put some walls there on the bear. I can't remember what else I had properly. Uh, yeah, we gotta make a, a, a workshop that's a little more sensible. I have this tiny little shack at the moment. We need to expand on it. Yeah, it was getting pretty full. I needed to place a few other things down, you know, just to keep yeah. everything safe and keep everything fresh or whatever. And nope, I, I was see running it. out of space. Yeah, we will. The I'm thinking that the boat will be like a mobile sort of uh, be able to put the crafting stations on the side, be able to have a spot to store the kind of key dinos you would want to travel with. So that's what I'm thinking. Um, oh, and the other thing I, I still haven't mentioned is Monkey Man, who is in chat right now. Last week he did a giveaway of Osiris New Dawn. And I think if I did everything right, that should be in the, the, in the description, uh, near the top of the description, his stuff on that. It looks like it's all saved. Uh, yeah, so he's giving away, last week he gave away a copy, and if you came from watching this stream, uh, we all went over and watched it, then you had a better chance of winning, but actually none of the people who were watching us, none of the geeks won it. So uh, he actually got another version of it, another uh, Steam key for it. So there's a link in the description uh, just for this stream. Uh, so if you guys wanna click on it, you can win a copy of that game. And then, uh, if you don't know the game, I also put a link to the live stream of Osiris New Dawn that Monkey did, Man did last week. So that stuff's in the description for people. All right. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm thinking well, once I get the the bulk of the stuff onto a boat, I'll actually make this like cute little spot for Jerboas. Clear out some space. Wood ceilings. Yeah, you got a few of those now, a few of those Jerboas. Yep. Yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> Coming in here trying to maneuver around all of them, that's pretty hard to do anyway. Yes, yeah, feel free to kick them around in there. I'm not too attached. <laughs> Just uh, go, ideally make some space, make some room for them, and, and get us at a bit on top of them. They will not be going on the boat. Oh, yeah, it's taking a while to fill the bear up. Yeah, it's uh, it's one of those gray bears that has like tons of weight. So that's yeah, good. Yeah, they're good. Uh, stone gateway. And basically, I'm just throwing all the raw mats on them. So we would all just throw a bench on them and then cool. you can uh, just craft all the way over there and I'll just keep on bumbling back and, and forth. And I had already done a, um, I had already done a few, um, Whatever, I'd already crafted some of the pieces I thought I would need to start, so I've thrown those on this guy too. So we can take those over. I can go get started though, with um, some yeah, foundations yeah. and a few ceilings. I'm gonna try and get, the music sounds like it's too loud for me. People aren't complaining though. Here, that sounds a little better. Cool, we'll see. Um, and let me bring up the chat here. Okay, cool. Yeah, people talking about that Osiris game. That's all that's happening over there. All right. All right, he's, he's not a fast swimmer, but he'll get there. Cool. I don't think I'll beat you there by much. Yeah, no, this is actually a neat little area. There's a few little shallow ones all around, so you see dinos out in the water that you wouldn't expect to just be out in the water. Um, I, I have actually seen, like, a, an alpha raptor, sp uh, alpha raptor spawn over here on this island, though. Oh, really? I was going to... Yeah, I took, I took them out, so... I was going to say how safe it had generally been since we uh, had gotten on it. I hadn't seen... Yeah, generally it is. I mean, I haven't, I haven't barely seen anything, like, really Ooh. bad or anything like that. It's just, you know, just those from, yeah, just that one alpha. Yeah. There we go. All right, and get rid of the sail. So, hide sail. Okay, cool. So, I am just gonna line this up manually. 
Oh, and I think, I don't know if uh, that's something that was already there. Do you, uh, it might need a, like two vanilla wooden pillars, I think, is the next thing. Because I think I'd have to lower that down, and I didn't think to grab that. Oh, that's not too steep. That's good. Gonna grab a little bit of stuff, make up a couple quick pillars, and then I'll get working on a lowering foundation. So I ah, want boom, boom. Okay, cool. All right, I'm on it. Okay, cool. Um, so I have uh, shared a couple little pictures in the geeks chat of uh, the idea I had and I built it over on our, our new extinction server just to uh, test the idea out and it looked out it worked out pretty good yeah the pictures I mean looked really good as well yeah I think it'll be all right I don't I, uh, I hope it will there's a couple different things like I'll end up with a lot of ideas I'll end up kind of sketching them well i'll just grab a notepad and i'll kind of go back and forth with uh the you know a, a different different shapes you could do it in knowing this game but it uh it can still be a bit of a challenge to uh i don't know to to kind of be able to visualize it until you actually build it in game i end up always yeah having to come in game see if it's actually going to look the way i think it will yeah, i got the s workbench up there by near your pillar okay Oh, and I have, uh, I think I have everything I need down here for now. So. I'm trying to get the lowest of these. I think it would be that. Ooh, I know the next thing is definitely going to be uh, some, uh, a couple thatch ceilings. I don't know what is it exactly uh, if there was thatch or fiber, I think, was the one thing that there wasn't a bunch of up there. But I forgot about that one, too. I always forget about that when you're making a boat. You have to prepare and make those uh, thatch ceilings to expand with. Okay. I'll get some other uh, cool. next run. Oh, no worries. And I'll just grab a little bit here so I can get myself started. I have a sickle, so I can power through some of this crap that's on this little island. It'll work out perfect. Oh, that's fine as well. Yeah. No, I mean, this is probably, this will be the least gathering uh, I'll have to do to get something done on a stream. Hopefully I make some great progress with all the prep you, you had us going on, had going on for us earlier. Um, so yeah, doing a quick, doing a quick gather some fiber is easy and I will make I don't need an insane amount, actually, because I have S+. Plus. I could get away with just one of them. Are you a, um, and I'm, I'm going to hesitate to avoid getting spoilers, but are you, have you been watching, um, are you a Game of Thrones guy? I've finished Game of Thrones okay. this whole season, so it's a, yeah. So uh, I, yeah. I was behind, and over the last like couple months, I watched season four, five, and six. What did you think of six? Um, it was the first time that, uh, basically the first time since before the Red Wedding that um, like so much had been going so well for so many of the characters you liked. Because I think season six ends with... Um, uh, Daenerys is sailing to Westeros. She's gotten together with Tyrion. Jon Snow's king in the north. 
Um, oh, and apologies, guys. Spoiler alert if you haven't watched these things. I guess I'm just saying careful not to spoil. But those are like the basic points that it's at. So good things are happening for the characters you like. Um, and there's reunions. People who, who haven't been together for years presumed each other dead are getting back together. So it, things are going generally well. Um, and yeah, no, uh, and then, so I found that interesting and, and then I had to take a break after season six um, before I could track down um, season seven. So I'm able to watch season seven now. Um, and I've watched, I think the first four episodes. So I have three episodes and then I'll be totally caught up with the rest of the world. So maybe by the, maybe by my live stream tomorrow, I imagine I could potentially watch all three. I've been watching two at a time in a sitting uh, of those Game of Thrones episodes, and it's been pretty good. I think that's a great way to do it. Um, I, ne I never could just stop like at two or something like that. I never could do that. Right. Well, I'm th I'm more thinking like uh, it's, yeah, it's not so much at, at uh, stopping. It's kind of like knowing that this last season is only seven episodes and kind of wanting to wanted to make it make it last because I've had a couple of days of like you know thinking up silly ideas and things you know getting to at the end of each episode I'm sitting there pondering oh crap what does that mean without making myself watch it uh, it's actually not been entirely by choice that I've done that it's because uh, my sister's computer for some reason would not work with an external hard drive so we had to use this tiny little thumb drive and it would only hold a couple episodes um, so I got the first couple and went, you know what, that's good. Just leave me with those two for now so that I don't, I don't watch it all in one sitting. Yeah, I would watch like five or something like that, five or six in just in one sitting, yeah. It's kind of like if you were uh, teaching yourself to stop smoking or something and you said, okay, you hold on to these, only give me one or two a day. So, you know what I mean? Like that's kind of the, the approach of it that we had. So it worked out for me. I got to uh, spread them out when I, I normally wouldn't have been able to either, I don't think, so... Oh, I nearby foundation support. I wonder why. This is the big advanced draft, isn't it? Ooh. I thought it was the large one. Does it say when you place it down? It just seems like I'm running out of uh, space to build right off the back of it. That's so weird. That is really weird, though. Uh, I wonder if it's because I didn't have this foundation in place. Yeah, maybe that's it. And then I picked this back up. I was trying to leave a spot over the rudder like Aureli always does. So, yeah, I guess that's it. It was something to do with that foundation missing in the middle. Even though there's one right here. I don't know, maybe because this one isn't touching? That's still bizarre. Arc's a weird game to figure out. Yeah, arc, it's arc that way, yeah. Yeah, and let me get some gamma going for people. Make it as light as possible. And I don't think I like this song. That's so funny. I hear you complaining about the music and stuff like that. You know, like you don't like the song or the music mm -hmm. might be too hard. Yeah. And I actually don't hear any music. That's so funny. Oh, I wonder if it's too quiet. Like I I'm trying to get a nice balance. So people tell me if they're if they're if they need the music to sound louder or less loud. I kind of had it set at a certain volume because that's what I'm used to and where I can kind of hear my own voice um, behind it. So I've got it turned down to where it, I I've always had it, but it might be too low. It's hard to say because I didn't. I don't know. I'm still, uh, <laughs> I'm still working out all, all, uh, properly how to stream and get the audio levels right and all of that. Most of the time when I stream requires nearby. Okay, that's interesting. So I'm going to leave that one in there while I'm building. Oh, no, I'm out of space out here. That feels like it's, I built much bigger than this already, but maybe it'll only build off the front. We'll see. Did you have the same problem when you were on the, uh, on the other server? No. Uh, oh, weird, oh, you know what? I think these are... I think I know what's happened. Yeah. I think I'll fix it. <laughs> I think they're vanilla thatch ceilings, so maybe if I had S plus ones, I would not be running into that issue. I don't know why I had the vanilla ones. For a second, I thought they were the only ones that would work, but I think both will work, so... That would explain a lot, though, if you used if you used the vanilla ones, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think I just I think I just grabbed, used the wrong thing. Let me see here. Transfer some fiber over. Oh yeah, 
I made that second refrigerator because I, I was yep. I ran out of space in the first one, so I got a lot of cooked meat in there for you as well, some cooked prime and stuff like that as well. I did see that. I was okay. Well, another thing you guys can ask me is how we sound in comparison to each other, because people often say I'm quieter than whoever I'm talking to in Discord. Okay, uh, let me pull it up. Why don't you talk for a sec, D? Yeah, I'm trying to just you know like talk like okay. a normal level and stuff like that. So it's uh, okay. I hope it's pretty good. No, it's it's the funny thing because Discord lets you adjust volumes all over the place, right? Um, it doesn't have dramatic, but sometimes I have to set people to two hundred percent volume in Discord for them to sound loud enough, and then other times you have to turn people down because they just have a hotter mic than you or something like that. So um, I think we probably got got it sorted out. We'll see. I'll keep playing with it, and if people complain one way or the other, can tweak it. But no, it's it's quite possible one of us could be louder than the other, and it's hard for me to hear that properly. Okay, so I'm gonna grab these. Yeah, I mean, when you're just talking in Discord, it's it's like completely different, of course. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't you don't have that volume distance. At least I can hear you clearly. But I mean, even if uh, you're like in the stream, like in the video, yep, it's sometimes it's wobbly for me as well. So. Okay. Oh, god dang it. Yeah, I'm not used to crafting things I need. I've been doing too much creative building. I don't think it's about a good thing to you know, touch back to where oh, you started. Oh, absolutely. No, I'm just, uh, I'm, I'm slow figuring things out. Like, uh... Like, uh, I grabbed roofs instead of ceilings. And it's like, that's a, I've been, that's a one click oh, away yeah. mistake yeah. for the last little while. As opposed to, uh, I'll run back over here, go do that. You know what I mean? So I don't want to patch ceiling. That's the one I need. I mean, that was just stupid. I just, I, well, I came all the way over there with the bear, completely, like, just like completely full. And I had fiber on my, uh, at least on my body, for that way, like in my own backpack, and I just forgot to drop it. Yeah. <laughs> well, at least fiber doesn't weigh an insane amount. That's true, but it's like, oh man, I, because uh, you need the fiber over there. I was like, oh man, I just, I, you know, I brought like oh. a whole bunch of it too. So I was like, oh man, I forgot. I'm fairly well stocked. I think I can do most of what I need to do here. We'll see. And let's see if I can go off the back. Yeah, I think that was my issue. Yeah, so it was just the vanilla? Uh, I think so. There we go. So yeah, people let me know. Can you hear music? Can you hear us properly with each other? I would hope so. Um, yeah, I have done, I upgraded my mouse a little while ago. Um, I think I've mentioned to one that has like a bunch of buttons on the side. That's been really good. Um, it's like my whole hot bar. 12, right? Yeah, the whole hot bar is on my thumb. And then I also have, yeah, because you have two extra buttons, they're basically line up with your, you know, your minus and your plus, um, symbols on the top of your keyboard. Um, so I have the minus one pulls up Arc Commander for when I'm doing the creative building, and I think 12 puts... Yeah, it puts the whatever's in my hand away. So if I have this uh, demo gun and I'm trying to build and alternate between a demo gun, I can do it just with that super quick uh, click. That's really handy. So it does make it, I, I'm slowly learning to, to, to make the most of it, but trying to, trying to make it work. And I got to figure out how big to make uh, this boat. And I guess, uh, yeah, the... I guess it also rotates snap points for me too, which is good. There we go. Oh, and I'm trying to pay attention. Oh, I just heard the, the audio. The audio is fine, but then uh, someone's not hearing the music though. Okay, it could just be too quiet. I don't know. Sounds plenty loud. I'll turn myself down then, and hopefully that sounds alright. 
cool. So stream looks like it's going good. Knocking on wood. I haven't had any trouble. My my machine. The last one went pretty good as well. So. Yeah, it was very late. I think that I began to have issues when I, whenever I did. So do yeah, that. Yeah, so Sunday was like the last ten or ten minutes. Something like that, yeah. Yeah. But, yeah, it happens. Is there already? There we go. Cool. Yeah, man, I have uh, enjoyed the routine of waking up and doing streams on the weekends in the morning. Yeah, people saying they can't hear the music. They can now. Volume's nice. Boost dynamic in Discord a little. Okay, thank you. That's what I was looking for is that kind of input. Here, try talking right after I talk and see what people think. Is this a bit better? I hope so, anyway. I yes. This is better. I know it's hard when somebody says, just talk. That is really hard to do. It's like, especially when it's like for a sound check or, you know what I mean? That kind of a thing. You're just like, okay, and now I'm talking and filling space and talking. It's, you know, you can't, can't improv that so well. No, nobody really has that. All right. Well, it's like, you know, you're like on the spot, you know, it says, you know, just say something, say something. Uh, yeah. Hi. Yeah. I think, so what I have done, if I did it right, I think the goal was 10. Uh, I'm going to, I'm going to count exactly. It's three by something. Uh, three by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Three by 10 is the shape that I've got here now. And I think that's going to be bigger than the one that I showed you pictures of, if my memory is right. Okay. And now I'm going to build off the front of it. Do that. I think, let's see if I can make what's involved in a standing torch. Let's see if I already have it on me. Okay, cool. Do you have everything on you? Because I'm on my way over. So uh, I, I don't have thatch or flint uh, on my person, and I need those to make a quick torch. Right. But torch isn't essential. With the gamma, I'm looking at the stream, and it looks pretty good. But torch might help. We'll see. So, yeah, that's starting to look like, like the beginning of something. I'm going to grab... I think I had walls here. Yeah. Okay. Wow, that's insane. I have all these materials. And I just don't have any uh, any flint, so I'll go get some. Oh, that's that's cool, man. It's not the hardest one to gather. We could get it pretty quick. Yeah, I got my. Uh, no, it's my over here, so I'll just go hit one rock, and I'll have enough. Yeah, you've t you've talked about like your almost your favorite aspect of the game is is the the gather. Like you enjoy that part of it. Yeah, you know, it's just, you know, I really have no inspiration whatsoever to build. And uh, so I'm, I teamed up with Jam because Jam does really like building. And uh, I just I just love just wa running around, just doing nothing, you know, just I, turning off like your brain. Just I was going go materials. I was going to say, like, it, as much as I for me, that's the part of the game that that makes it like I feel I, I uh, it takes some of the fun out of it for me when there is a, a big grind. But um, I will I don't know. I uh, I can definitely appreciate the repetitiveness of, of gathering because I used to do, were you just uh, an art guy or did you ever play Minecraft uh, no I didn't play Minecraft okay. no, I played uh, Conan Exiles I've played that so uh, just just the reason I mentioned it is when I used to play Minecraft there's an element of the game where you would like when you need to go get the rarer resources like diamonds and things that only grow only appear underground that you have to mine for when you would go to get those things you would uh, um one of the easiest ways to do it was a branch mine, where like you dig down to whatever level diamonds spawn at, and you just build little tunnels off one big tunnel. And it's pretty mindless, it's repetitive. You dig in a straight line until you give up and turn around, move down a bit and dig in another straight line. And I always liked that for the, I would go down, like I would go do that to clear my head. Like I liked the, the repetition of it for the, 
the time it gave you to think, that sort of thing. No, exactly, and that's that's why I just love doing this. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. No, I uh, I can very much relate. Uh, although I've not never quite channeled that in this game. Never quite made myself uh, enjoy the grind. Oh, someone's asking if you use the stone slope roofs on the bottom of the, of the boat. Um, okay, so I have, uh, oh, did, uh, I have not, no, I didn't do, oops, sorry, I didn't do too much more than this foundation layer, uh, in my sort of prototype of it, but I did do the front, I did make sure the front had this, uh, little triangle slope on it, uh, if I can make that happen. Uh, I think Jeremy's saying, uh, that goodbye thing. as well, Jeremy. Okay, cool. Yes, a uh, salute can be hello or goodbye. I think como tu va, how are you? Something like that. I think that's what he's saying. Uh, you see what he's saying? Yeah, he's just, okay. Uh, what? But I didn't see it. I, I struggle. <laughs> struggle to keep up with it and build. Um, Jorge or George, some people pronounce it different ways, but uh, I did that all the time in Minecraft. I do that too. And I figured, I imagined when you talked about, you know, it's a part of the game you appreciate, I immediately assumed there must be something to that aspect of it that... Uh, that there's appeal to like if your day-to-day -day job is a job where you don't get the chance to just chill and think then i can see that being a favorite part of this game yeah you you know what my day job is i mean i'm an english teacher so i mean i'm surrounded by kids like all day it's yeah it's, i love my job i really do i just the, love but the, work, but oh, it's, it's, alone yeah. time is not the the big part of it right it depends on how the young oh, the no. kids are too how little of the alone time you get because even on it's high, high school so yeah. i mean you're always you're always you're always busy always. yeah yeah it's it adds up, I imagine. Uh, okay, so let me see. Front of the boat looks good. I'll show people what that looks like. The only thing I did differently than I normally would have done, we're using Structures Plus, so we have these triangle foundations. I built that right off the 3x10. And then the only thing I did differently was try and taper the front up so that uh, the point that we would have would only start right here. And so, whoops. And it's going to be difficult. I've done kind of weird things. Uh, under these ceilings so to get all my uh, stone walls to line up with each other I want to make sure whoops yeah I want to make sure things are all in line because there's plenty of potential here for stuff to get out of whack I think it'll be when I get to the very tip there so I'm yeah see that that's a mess I think I'm coming down here Yeah, when you get in a minute, when you uh, are yeah. in the boss bench the next time, can you tell me what you, uh, what you might be needing? Because uh, okay. I've thrown a lot of stuff in there, so it's okay. You, you got it, man. Um, I, yeah, I don't know. You're probably going to be able to gather faster than I can build, but we'll, we'll try. See what we can do. Well, see, I, I've got everything in these benches, so basically I'm just emptying out the workbench yep. that's over here. I'm just emptying those out, so it's like, okay. But yep. if you really need like something specific to like, to, like make the well, doors, so you need more wood or whatever. Yeah, I'm thinking, what am I thinking we'll need in the next stage? Uh, I'll definitely need, I think I already did a bunch, but I'll need wooden ceilings, wooden windows, probably a, a few stone railings. I'm going to try and see how to use half walls um, here, like whether I should have this, you know, the bow of the boat dropped down a whole wall or a, a half wall when it dips to that lower part in the middle of the boat. Uh, so I don't know. I'll see. I think I crafted a decent amount of what I would need to start with and somehow it's still lasting. So I'll, uh, <laughs> I'm headed over there now though to take a look. All right. So no problems, man. those look totally even. And Those look totally even. Okay, so I, I feel fine about that. It means we can put this stuff away. Hmm. I think that could work. I'm trying to figure out how to close this little gap here. Flip it. Okay, yeah, let's do that. I think that looks all right. All right, and the stream seems to be going fairly strong, fairly steady, no complaints. Okay, so grab more stone walls. Grab these, these. 
yeah, geez, man, I don't know. I'm not sure quite what I'll need quite yet. Um, I hadn't made many of the, the, uh, I hadn't played around with any of the little custom decorative bits that come with advanced drafts. I'd just been doing a fairly simple, simple, uh, fairly vanilla design but i know you can get like portholes and sails and uh i'm gonna put a ship's chimney on here eventually i know that for sure yeah I saw, when i logged in i saw those next to your house we, you took them away that way <laughs> I, saw, I, did, I did see those and it looked like you were in the, in the picture looked like you used the metal one right yes yeah this so there's two stone yeah here's what the i'll put the metal one out for a sec there that's what it looks like it doesn't have like a perfect texture to it but there's a st whoops there's a stone one that's that exact shape and it has a bit of a weird texture it just doesn't look quite natural and then there's a big square stone one so uh, the square stone one didn't seem quite right uh, for the design i ended up going with so i think we'll use that one and this one takes two types of paint so i think you can have like a stripe on it um like you could do a red and white you know tugboat check type chimney smokestack thing because yeah, I was looking at that, and you can actually smell metal in it. And uh, so I was busy doing that. Oh, yes. I was going to ask how... I just thought it was really stupid because there's no smoke that comes out of the top. Right. I thought that was the whole point of it when I saw... Uh, I picked one up, and I, it dropped a bag, and it had an ingot in it. And I was like, oh, I didn't realize you could do that. So yeah, no, I was looking at it because I saw that you can you're not going to access the inventory. I was like, wait, wait a minute. Yeah. So, yeah, but it, there's no smoke that comes out of the top, and I thought that it was really bad. I didn't. I really didn't like that. Yeah. No, that would be the whole point to it, I would think. So I'm gonna back up and take a look at this. And I can probably fix my gamma now. Okay, and I'll pe go peek at the stream, see what people are talking about. No, everything's looking good for people. 77 watching. 36 minutes in. That's fun. So yeah, guys, go fill out. If you're brand new, take a look in the description. There is a link for uh, a little giveaway. It's uh, Monkey Man, courtesy of him, giving away a copy of that Osiris New Dawn game. And if you want, he's got a link to him playing it last week as well. So those are the big ones down in the, the description that I always suggest for today at least. So I have to figure out whether to do to have the that come down a whole wall or a half wall. Um, in the other design, I had uh, I had a half wall there. I guess I need to go grab those railings. All right, stone railings. So yeah, with S plus, I can come over here. We can put that there. I think most people, I don't know how many people watching, uh, how many of the people are actually not playing on computer and have not got access to a mod like this one, I wonder. So I could do that. that out so I'll put that there switch to a half wall and then I'd have to figure out how to I have to use a nope yes then I'd have to get a slope in there without breaking it but I could do that saying at least on the ps4 that there are no mods yet like this so yeah no mods. but i wonder how many of the folks watching are actually okay so there's a few decent number of people so yo that's interesting i'll keep that in mind when i'm building with and i gotta skip this song so S some songs gotta come off this playlist not a fan There we go. Okay, perfect. So 
so did you unlock everything for the uh, for the uh, for the advanced rafts as well, like the little portals and stuff like that? Did you uh, unlock all that? No, you know what? No, I didn't. I don't think I bothered to go through. I figured I would see what I could do with this with uh, vanilla first, um, and go from there. I I know I've used the portholes before, but I kind of want to see. Look, we're seeing how many people might not be on PC or have access to this. I wouldn't mind seeing. I guess they're not going to be able to build a boat this big anyway, right? So, <laughs> now that I think of that. Yeah, nobody should be building, or should be able to build this height. Nope. It's a structure limit, right? That you'll run into then, if you, even if you're playing in vanilla? Yeah, I think, I don't think you're going to be able to build a boat getting, get, like, just getting the frame of this boat in, I think would use up almost the default. It's like 88, is that the number? I think 88 structures, something like that. Whoops. Grappling hooks, such a pain. <laughs> Yeah, building with styles uh, just said uh, he's uh, you know uh, that um, uh, you're uh, even though it's modded your inspiration uh, your your builds do give him inspiration for like vanilla servers okay well that is that is useful i think i think you can give concepts because i have i took this from a boat i did that was totally fit within that structure limit like i took a little inspiration from a steamboat build tutorial that i did a while back that one um but I have mentioned I'm out of practice when it comes to building in, uh, building in survival. Like I'm used to, if I can't reach something, I just fly. So I, uh, it's good for me getting back in the habit because I'm I'm doing silly tricks here to get myself back up to go make building up there easy. Come on, what? Stupid. Now that I'm up here, I should be able to do. Nope, that won't work. There, so I could do that. I gotta figure out which of these makes the most sense. Oh, it looks like William got a poll going for which platform do they play Ark on. Oh, that's kind of cool. Dude's got skills. That's red. All right, get myself up here. So. Yeah, which height do we want to be at? I think it's this one. quiet when I'm trying to make something work. There's parts of this that are a little trickier than they were when I was playing on the uh, creative server this morning. That's what you get where you can fly. Yeah. And it's way easier. Yeah. Well, and when I have the morning and I'm like, okay, let's just make sure this design can work. I'm like, oh yeah, well, I'll do it the fastest Ooh, way I can. Okay. And... So I think I'm going to do a half rail or half wall size drop down. 
because the kind of the key to the look of the boat was that as it comes down from the bow, it drops down a little bit to the middle. It made it look like a cargo ship style thing. So put All right. Oh, that's annoying. God, I hate how you get launched with grappling hooks when you're just trying to get somewhere. Oh, 50-50 with PC and console so far. That's funny. Okay, that's cool. Well, that means that means it's smart for me to keep doing builds that'll work for console, too. So this yeah, is gonna, by the two way builds. Yeah, going to be a total pain. Um, wow, man, building in this game can be so, so difficult sometimes. I have like a billion snap points right now. I'm actually busy on the center doing a build, and I just really can't get one of the uh, one of the roof tiles to snap. Oh, really, eh? Yeah, you know, it's, you know, it's the you know with the glitching in between them. So you have like one of the vanilla ones, and the right. other one is like uh, S plus. I can't get. I got one of one side. I got the snap, and the other side just won't snap at all. Oh, that's funny. Yeah, yeah I, it's, it's like there's no snap point there as well, so it's like what? no, I'm like I said, I'm not, I'm used to being able to go. Oh, this game won't let me do this. I'll make it. I think I, God dang it, I'm trying to get myself up on top of this stupid ceiling out here. Ah, oh, there we go. God dang, should be easier. Okay, so it's got to be this one. There. Okay, cool. I think I got it in. That was a, just a super tricky part of the build I needed to figure out, and I think it all is going to work smooth now. Okay, nice. Oops. Yeah, this should be my last run for all the heavy materials. This should be my last run. So. Okay, cool, man. I am I'm working working at a fairly steady but slow speed so far. Hey, no, man, it's no problem. You know, like I said, you know, I'm just gonna go back and forth so I can at least empty out these workbenches and then uh, can be, eventually can we'll be have everything over, everything over there. Okay, and do I have? I'll come back for those. Okay, so yeah, I'm just starting to put a deck on the front of it, and that's when I have to figure out exactly where the. Uh, the cabin is going to go. Okay, perfect. All right, so that's interesting if that pole is, is uh, split like that. No, it's good having you guys around. When I first started streaming, I never had backup. I got uh, you keeping an eye on chat while in game. Got a bunch of people in chat. I see Mentu, I see Red. Um, yeah, Red, Red actually sent me a, a DM saying, "Hey man, you, you gotta watch this chat because he's missing a lot of things." I was like, oh, right. <laughs> well, it's they're they're fun, man. It's it's good having having the backup. <laughs> it's hard to keep up, man, to focus on one and not the other. But yeah, having you guys in there, keeping people on track, and then now having you being able to explain when I'm missing the important things, it's, it's useful. All right. So I think what I'm gonna do is uh, work on a, an idea for the cabin. I'm gonna make a couple ladders too so that it's easy to get up and down so I can stop doing derping around with my grappling hook now that I have a stable place that I wanna attach a ladder to. Perfect. <laughs> So yeah, it's it's cool. I see somebody saying it's not a challenge building with a controller. Definitely something I don't do. Um, but I'm, I'm glad that it can work like that. I'm glad that it's not a major problem for folks. Ooh, I know what I want to work on. Uh, I'm going to sort out the back of the ship before I go work on the cabin. So I, I was thinking about designs with one or two or three or four different uh, smokestacks on them. And I didn't find one I liked other than a design with one that I thought I could actually make look good in game. 
I think it's because. Yeah, that's what I'd say. You know, you can get like the Titanic build going on with like four of these smokestacks, but you know, it's, yeah. it's, it's a bit too excessive. Well, and I think it doesn't quite scale properly for Ark. Like if, you know, if you were building something to actually resemble the Titanic, it might have to be 20 walls across to get the right number of windows on the bridge or something like that, right? Or to get the right size oh, and yeah. shape of something. So when you get, when you start getting really big and you, or you try and mimic something big with something not as big in game, you, it starts not looking quite as right. So I ended up trying to do closer to a ship. You know, this is still a small version of any ship you'd actually see, but um, I think, uh, yeah. And I think it would, uh, <laughs> anyway, I think it's it's close enough to a real sized thing that it's not gonna look out of place when I get the shapes together. It's like trying to build, you know, a Star Destroyer from Star Wars or something like that. It's gonna be a challenge to get the proportions in a way that is actually gonna convince anybody. Like, the bridge for this ship is actually going to be so tiny, it's silly. Did you need all the S-plus slope thatch roofs that are in here? Uh, I don't think so. I think they might have come... Uh, when you guys drop stuff off, I think you did drop off some... Uh, whatchamacallit? Just, like, leftover building pieces. Stuff you... Oh, yeah, I, I did, think, yeah. I think I, I might have dragged that. those over from there. I don't know if I made I was this. Think, I was thinking, because, I mean, I, there were 44 of them sitting here. It's like, what the heck? Wait a minute. Yeah. <laughs> No, not not urgent. Okay. So I'm just uh, trying to design up the back of the boat here. I'm gonna try and put a gate on it so that this is um, a way to get on and off. So I'll take out that, that. Ooh, that's good, and I can get up on this. Perfect. All right, put that there. Cool. And then I'm gonna try and put a gateway across this. Hmm. Getting gates where you want them is a challenge. Too many snap points. I have to make some space. I just don't like, you know, that the that those gates are like an odd number of uh, foundations. I, that's why I don't like. Yeah. Well, the I'm gonna be using the little gate, and I think is there anything here that doesn't fit through a little gate that you brought? You're, you're uh, does the giant big bird with claws, which my column, do they fit through the standard dino gate? Uh, yeah, those do. The mammoth doesn't. Right. But I was but, gonna but say. But then again, you know, I, I, I'm I'm only using like the the uh, the transfer gun and the resource puller. Yep, that's true. You'd... Let me see here. Yeah. So because this is um, structures plus, I am able to leave these ceilings I just built. I'll go stand on them here. Oh, can I get up here? I was able to a second ago. Okay. Let's go get on the boat. Anyway, I'm get, I think what I'm going to have to do is remove some of the found, other foundations around there to try and make it so that I can uh, get in and out. Or so that I can place these uh, gates. So if I take out th these three, those will stay there, and that means I can still try and build the gate on the end of it. And the gates are four tall, and the boat is only three tall. So, oh, I remember. So gates will not snap uh, to triangle ceilings. So... I'm gonna have to do this, and then they might do it, or I might need to take out those. Okay. So now I'm gonna take out all these. So this is a bit of a pain. You would not be able to get this quite like this if you weren't playing with Structures Plus. So now I can put those in, and now I should be able to put a Dino Gate. It should like that. Oh, geez. So, if I do that... Good lord. A moonshine spin, you can use the S-plus fence foundation to hide it, then hide it to get the snap point. Okay, that's interesting. I think I have managed to do it, just not probably in the way that you would, you would typically do. Um... I think it worked out for us. Okay. 
And then I think I can take out this and this. Yep, okay, cool. I'm gonna come and grab some new, uh, I think I need thatch uh, roofs again, ceilings, whatever they're called. I gotta remember to grab the right one. <laughs> uh, I've got three of these little triangle ones. I'm gonna be placing a second bench up there as well, so. Uh... Okay, cool, man. I think we are we're making okay progress now. These are these are a couple of the trickier little bits of the the whole thing. And put a foundation under there. I tried getting you a Morello tops, but I I think I had like three or four 168s, one sixty twos, and I was shooting with my darts and. You know, then I'd shoot them and then start running away, and they just, they would faint in the water. So it's... Oh, uh, it's, yeah, yeah. I had actually thought about one, and I was thinking they would be great if you could design them in a way to function as sort of like a, a living water tank, where you, you have them in a spot where if it rains, they're going to be right there. Do they collect it when it rains, or do they have to be right near, near water? I can't remember how they work. I, I don't remember either. I just really, I just know that they're, like, really good with the... Uh, with um, getting the um, is it oh, what are they called again? The cactus sap. Cactus sap, yeah. yeah. I think only the kangaroo would be superior. Actually, I don't know which ones which one's truly better. Oh, they want to know what size the raft is uh, that you're using. Oh, uh, like the sorry base raft. Yeah, I think so. It's so, the uh, it's uh, the advanced Regis rafts and, with uh, the so. with the L on it. So I assume it's advanced rafts large, basically. Uh, so it's a big, it's whatever the, I think whatever the biggest version of the default raft is that comes with advanced rafts. Hmm. Okay. Just trying to put a little ramp on the back of it here. There we go. Oh, perfect. And that works. No, uh, Hex, I do believe that the, uh, the, the the leads can't destroy these rafts. That's right, isn't it? You'd see the they, advanced rafts. I, you know what? I don't, I don't know enough to know. Uh, I was just gonna try and keep it safe. You're thinking they can or they can't? Sorry. I, th I think they can't because I've, I've been using, I've used them before yeah? on the, uh, on the center server, and I didn't have any problems with them. Okay. Yeah, it's quite possible. I mean, these guys will know better. I'm, I'm really, I'm not. Uh, I, for some reason, I've kept so much of my uh, building to. To vanilla over since I don't know I just have not spent nearly as much time uh, getting into mods and, and and such as I should have so I don't know them all inside out um, oh and I know what I'll do I was gonna say, do you want to bring a little stack of uh, the meat? I know you said you had a couple fridges full. Yeah, we'll do, man. Keep myself, uh, keep myself from uh, stomach growling. But I think I got the back how I want it. Um, looks, looks like it's gonna work the way I want. So it's gonna be the same shape as the front. It's just not gonna extend as far. the wood stuff okay I got some stuff to go grab then almost there all right what are people saying eat something you see or drink something you have that red glow yes I did I ate some berries all right let me grab this wood stuff 
that, grab that, still got some ceilings. And I'll grab some triangle. I guess I need some of the wooden triangles for the deck. And then railings, I think would be smart as well. Dang it. Man, I'm right, slow today. Meet, meet Sonia in the other station for you, sir. Cool. Thank you very much. Okay. Oh, and I'm too heavy. <laughs> I think I gotta put some stuff back. Oh, that's lots of meat. Should be good for a bit now, eh? Yeah, and I didn't even touch the refrigerator yet, so. Okay, beautiful. <laughs> I just have that still leave, that's still left there in the grill, so. <laughs> that is, uh, that's how you stock. All right, uh, over to the boat now. I'm gonna try. Gonna try building a cabin, or the cabin for the, uh, the boat up top. Yeah, I have a quite a ridiculous uh, set of gear that I've been wearing because it matches that little uh, <laughs> that little uh, Jerboa house, but it's a uh, it's a good look. And then I'm not sure I, I like the haircut, but somebody gave me a, a different beard than I had at some point. It's the mutton chops, but it's a good look with the fro. Bob Ross didn't have mutton chops, did he? No, he didn't really have, he had, if anything, it was a beard, but it was nice and short. Yeah. Not, none of the facial hair in this game works quite so right, so uh, properly. So I got to figure out whether to do the the cabin bit in, in regular wood or to do it inside out. I do think the inside out would have like a nice touch to it though. I think so too. It just means, uh, uh, Okay, so that would mean pick up this stuff, and then we can inside out it. That would mean uh, I gotta go put ceilings all around the outside of where I want to do it. Uh, Jim just uh, joined us in the chat. What's up, Jim? Oh, hey, Jim. How's it going? Give me a sec. This song's got a bunch of talking in it. If more of us are talking and the song's talking, it'll be annoying. <laughs> there we go. Perfect. If you can hear us, hello, Jim. There we go, that's better music. Uh, come across Are you gonna be needing uh, like uh, glass walls? I, I, so I know there were, was a little stash. I think at some point I would need them for, when I do do that Jerboa, after once we clear the stuff out of it and move it all onto the boat, when I next time I'm building here and I do that Jerboa Ranch, um, I think I will use a little glass to make it so that it looks like they have a very small, low enclosure, but they're actually protected. Like I could just have maybe a railing height thing with Jerboas on Wander on the inside, and then over top I'll build with glass so that they're actually encased, even though it doesn't look like it. Um, with this uh, boat, I hadn't quite figured out if I was going to need that. Uh, to do glass at any point. I think I'm. I'm not sure with that, with that captain's with the with the captain's um, where you're going to be steering. You know, like the the cabin. Yeah. Like glass like on the front and the back, or like all around on one on one height. Yeah. Either. It, I was going to say you could certainly do it. You could make. Uh, yeah, you could do it with doors or double doors too, instead of just straight glass walls, because uh, they give a kind of a cool pattern to them. Uh, yeah, we could try. I don't know. Uh, I'm not sure. We'll, I guess we can kind of figure it out. If you have a little bit of stuff uh, there for it, we can figure out exactly what to use uh, the crystal stuff for. Crystal and cementing paste and stuff. I got more than a little, man. Okay, cool. <laughs> Figured. 
But yeah, I'm not sure exactly what it is that we'll need next. All right, so that gives us the inside out thing. And then instead of just flipping the piece, like if uh, I put it here and I flip it, instead of being perfectly aligned with the wall below, it's on a different angle. It's on a different uh, line, the way that I do it here. I'm gonna end up with the inside out wall is in the exact same, uh, exact same line as the stone below it. So that works out well for us. We can take this out. Take this out, perfect. And I think I have some more stuff crafting over there. So gonna go up with wooden windows here and this is gonna be the cabin of the thing I think we'll do them on the side as well hope I didn't break anything there I feel like Arca has gotten better than it, it used to be when it comes to stuff snapping where you want it to snap but it still uh, still doesn't really do it right Oh, that's not right. Nope. That's annoying. Dang it. Stupid. Uh. Okay, that can go there. Okay, cool. Still getting all the shapes and sizes oh, uh, and things someone, different. Someone's asking how many generators we're gonna have on the Titanic. Oh, you know what? I imagine that we would only need one. I don't think it would have to get too elaborate. And I would think you could probably figure out a way to hide it a little bit. Um, replacing maybe a foundation with like a little, little hole. Put it in there and put a ceiling over top. I don't know, might be able to get away with that. Or you mount it upside down. I think you, could, did they snap? Is there a way to make a generator snap to the center of a tile? Yeah, they, they automatically, they snap automatically. They right. S plus ones, they snap automatically to the middle of the foundation. So I could, knowing the tricks I know, make a generator snap to the roof if we wanted to do that. Um, so like they're still like having a toilet snap upside down. Yeah, that's yeah, like, we could that do that exact one. technique. And a generator on the roof isn't a silly idea for a boat to have it, you know, under the bow to have the generator um, hanging from the top so that you're not giving up floor space for cargo, anything like that. I think it could work. Uh, and I should have crafted a bunch of stuff here. And I probably have some levels of my own. That's slope. That is... Okay. get distracted people saying I want these mods mods aren't I guess yeah though the, an upside down generator would require a mods it would be structures plus it's funny though if we've been playing arc on PC for a while structures plus doesn't feel like a big mod like it feels like uh, just yeah feels like vanilla almost yeah I when, actually it, I actually whenever I play it's, it it feels like vanilla yeah it's just it does it's all the pieces look the same, so with with one exception is that the stone walls are double sided, but for the most part the pieces look identical, um, and I don't know. And then they give you more stuff. They give you more versatility with uh, triangles and uh, s different shaped slopes and things like that. Oh, just like Will is asking if you if this whole thing will be turned into metal after everything is made. Interesting. We'll have to see. Honestly, we'll have to figure out what what is going to make sense. Uh, what's going to be cool. Uh, and cool thing I keep forgetting, but this raft, don't these rafts have... Yeah, I was going to say, they all have inventory, right? Yeah, they do, yeah. So I have not been remembering that. There's stuff I could be dumping here. So advanced raft, I can go... Yeah, what am I currently not using? This stuff. 
And I think if I don't have a big stack of them, I could probably use some more, uh, oh, and I guess I gotta get more music going. I could probably use some more stone walls. That seems like one thing I plowed through a lot faster than I thought. I think I might have started some crafting there, but I think, let me see. Uh, one, two. Okay. I'm gonna grab. Let's see, I don't see any, uh, any walls in here, so. Okay. Cool. I'm on it then, I'll be right back there. How uh, many do you need? I don't know. Probably, like, another, a decent amount. It would be... I don't know. Easy, easily plow through twenty, I would think, at the rate that I'm. All on. right, I got, I got twenty started now for you. So. Okay. And I'm not sure what to actually do with the cabin space up here. If I'm going to use it, I think the goal was to have another, um, another gate uh, after the first one, sort of separating you from. Uh, so basically, there was an inside part of the ship right here that I could keep dinos in that would be totally sealed up. And then this part in the back would have walls, but it would be open to the sky, sort of like a old cargo ship. Kind of the design I have in mind for it, but I'll see how it comes together. Um, does it move? It will move. Yes, it's a boat. It's a full boat. But no, I guess I could move it ever so slightly closer, but you start moving stuff in closer and all of a sudden you can't build you get sort of obstruction issues and things like that. Although I don't know if you would anymore because if clipping is off. I haven't built a boat in a while. It's it's been it's been been a bit. Ooh, and I know what I'm gonna make. Alright, so I got almost everything over there for the uh, for, to make the glasses, but I'm just gonna go get the metal ingots now for cool, you. Man. That's great. Uh that oh, couple wow, ladders. I, I, just, I see that you have one dislike. Oh, that's cool. That you know what YouTube is really. People think it's bad. Really, not that bad. No, no, if, no. It's it's actually really good for feedback. I was just about to ask. You know, what's uh, what's why the thumbs down? Yes, you never know. They probably could have just left it. For some people, I think they. Some people get their head a certain thing where you, if you come to a channel for one thing, and they don't give it to you, then you you let them know with a thumbs down, right? Like. Let's say you're really into watching me build and I was exploring today, you might leave a thumbs down because I'm not exploring, right? I can only imagine that's what it is. I haven't said anything bad. My language has been fine, so I shouldn't have offended anybody, I think. Progress is slow, so maybe they're looking for something more exciting, more scintillating. I'm actually really surprised that I've kept my language uh, nice and tidy. Oh yeah, man, you've been, you've been perfect. <laughs> It's, no, I really have issues with that though, but if it would be even worse, you know, if it were like if we were, um, you know, just out like discovering things like that, and oh I would yes, be attacked, I would definitely have to really think twice before speaking. So oh yeah, I've had uh, I've had things slip out. Okay, it's and... all the part of being human. I like that part. Yeah. Oh, and this music just keeps stopping after one song. I don't know what I've done to it. There we go. And let me get back at looking at chat, looking at boom. If you're liking the stream, maul the like button like a thyla. That's hilarious. Yeah, that's fun. That is really good. That is good, right? Yeah. How many people do we have watching here? I can't see what I... It should tell me in this software that I'm using, but it never does. I think it says 90. Uh, at least uh, I have it on oh, my phone. It says 90. That's so. a good start if that's right. Oh, sorry. 98. Okay. Yeah, I'm seeing something close to that. I'm seeing 94. So, that's cool. Alright, let me pull chat back up and we'll see people in chat what they're talking about. And I'll pull this up so I can actually make sure my face is in camera. I've done a good job of that. If I give a video a thumbs down, it has to be really bad. I think in the thousands of videos and live streams I've watched, maybe two thumbs down. Yeah, I'm... I, for a thumbs down, it takes something... For, it takes something... F, uh, maybe... It, like the time I would do it mainly is if it's been, if you've been deceptive, you know what I mean? Like if, if you t title and thumbnail the video in a way that makes me think it's about something and I get in there and it's not about that thing, that that's one time I've done it. So yeah, if it's a video and it's about taming a thyla and I get in there and it's not about taming a thyla at all, but you're 
who knows, I don't know, some other, you know, you've done something totally different with it. That, that can be a little bit, that's a little deceptive sometimes. I'm not the biggest fan of that. I try not to do that with my videos. I'm sure I do, though. Um... So gonna make a couple of oops, not what I needed. Cancel. There we go. Almost crafted the wrong size gate. Okay. Um, got a couple of those, and I think I'm gonna get more. So, and we'll craft that in. So cool, thank you people for coming to hang out. Um, if you're newer to the stream, um, what are the things I always say? Um, come back Saturday, Sundays, uh, 11 a.m. That's when we always do it. Um, streams are brought to you by my Patreon supporters. Links in the description. Um, after last Sunday, the stream, I mentioned the people who had signed up on the Saturday and there were five people that signed up last Sunday after the stream. Um, which is pretty crazy. So I've been holding off till we're that late. Is, that is crazy. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, so yeah, it was a couple of people for a buck and a couple of people who wanted to come play on the servers. So I'm holding off listing all the people who signed up uh, over the week, just uh, towards the end, and then uh, we'll see. I don't want I don't want it to be uh, necessarily encouraging a spree again, because I remember finishing the stream last Sunday and be like, oh my god, thank you so much, people. Oh wait, I just wanted to chill out for a minute. Now. Uh, now I have a bunch of new people I gotta track down. Let me see. Cool. All right, I think I'm good to. Okay, so this boat is really getting to a point of getting to looking like I want it to look. Uh, okay, I need a couple more. Oh, of those. William, come on, man! All those thumbs. Are we released the pick of mastics? <laughs> <laughs> He's trying. Gotta get creative. He's been at every stream now for, for weeks trying to encourage people to, you know, leave nice comments or, or share links or whatever. Eventually you gotta, gotta start thinking of new ideas. I remember there was a brief time when I was, um, and it's it's one of those things, it depends on your outlook. For some people they, they totally, under, other people they find this so annoying, but you know when you're coming out of, I don't know what it's like where you live, but you're coming out of a grocery store or somewhere and there's somebody with a clipboard trying to get you to sign up to support a charity of theirs, right? Do you have that? Yeah. Where they're sort of can yeah, canvassers yeah, yeah, and they can be a little bit pushy sometimes because I remember I've worked in like, you know, the food service industry for a long time. And we never learned sort of pushy, make you feel guilty, aggressive selling techniques, anything like that. But when I learned to work for one of those companies and your only job is to elicit pledges towards uh, uh, the charity you've randomly been assigned, um, they teach you some pretty aggressive, you know, like you're trying to get random people to stop and give you a split second of their time. So you start getting really aggressive with, with how you figure out how to, to get people to stop and talk to you. But um, how did I even get on this? I don't know what I was uh, talking because about. Of the, uh, the, the, because of Red. Because of what Red said oh. in the chat. Oh, yeah, yeah. I was going to say, I learned, after time, I learned some, like, really uh, funnier, aggressive ways to, uh... Thank you for that. Getting me back on track. You're right. Um, but, yeah, funnier, aggressive ways to get people to stop. To give you a minute of their time. To let you distract them for a sec. Um, and, yeah, you... I don't know. It's interesting how, how aggressive your selling technique gets. And for that, that was, like, a, a highly... Uh, I don't know. It's like a all for a good cause, right? So it's it's funny that it's when it's a good cause is when all those those crazy techniques come out of the woodwork. Stuff I would never use to help myself make better tips. You're using, you know, like just really in, I, you had to get pe in people's faces because like I remember if you get to the end of the week and you only had a certain number of people signed up, they're going, huh, okay, maybe we should be paying someone else $6 an hour to to be forced to, you know, encouraging people to sign up. It was pretty cutthroat for a charity thing. So it's really cool that you've been, that you've actually done that because uh, every time I come out of the store or go into the store, they actually always avoid me. I just don't understand why though. Well, that's, you know, I'm, not, that, I'm not scary looking or anything. I that think just, they I, just look at you like, uh, never mind. I think that's it. I think you're projecting something that says like, you know, 
you know, I might not be, even if you are the person to, to stop and talk to, even if you could be easily convinced because you have a, you know, a good heart and you let them talk to you for a minute, they will, because that's what you're doing. You're appealing to people's better nature. You're also, you know, just trying to make them feel guilty for a split second so you can get their attention, right? But uh, yeah, there were people, it's a kind of a game of odds. So you're looking for your marks, really. The same way you would be if you were a pickpocket going, who do I think I can steal for? You're going, which person walking through the crowd do I think I can stop and get a minute of their time and maybe get them to pay 10 bucks a month to World Wildlife Fund or whatever the heck it was, right? So yeah, you you might just be a guy that they look at and go, uh, no, 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 and they, they skip past you. Yeah, someone said it might be a beard. I, I do have a beard, but it's like right. neatly trimmed because you know, I, it, because I do work with children, so it's I have to keep it nice and short. Yep. But um, there is actually someone in the first stream. Small meme has uh, has her first stream. She's watching the first time. She never had she, at least here. Oh, that's she cool. Never got around to it. So that's really cool. Welcome. And has watched the channel before. I'm, I'm guessing, or stumbled here randomly. YouTube isn't big for that though. YouTube isn't big for like sending random people into streams. Like on Twitch, when I, I streamed on Twitch, there would be people tuning in all the time who had never seen me or heard from me before and they were just trying it out to see what it was like. You don't get as much of that on YouTube where somebody's tuning in not knowing you. Like most people have seen my videos or subscribed or something like that. Uh, there's much less randomness. Okay, so what else do I need? I keep not going over with everything I need. So let's grab some of these. Okay, cool. And I'm trying to figure out... Mm, yeah, I'll figure it out. So I hope it's not too dark on the screen. Working through working through night and day. I actually got to the point where I actually had to gam up myself. I was like, oh, wait a minute. <laughs> trying to turn to my bear around along this table. It's like, what am I stuck on? Yeah. Okay, no, I'm already in gamma. That's good. All right. Hmm. Oh yeah, Small Meme has been watching uh, watching your channel for a while. Once I heard you did the streams, I've been trying to watch. Okay, cool. Well, yeah, I will mention it from time to time, but I'm hoping that give it enough time, do it with some you know frequency and repetition where you manage to keep coming at the same time and the same day and everything like that, then maybe you will give people a chance to, new people a chance to come and you'll sort of lock in the people who are already coming to a, a routine or a schedule, right? Which is, yeah, that's part of the fun part of it, is people knowing when and where to find you. Cause that, that was the big complaint I got before I, I had that uh, sort of a routine to it. Okay. Hey, have you given any thought about what kind of forge you want to put on your boat? Because I have the advanced forge, I just picked it up. Yeah, so the only thing I was thinking with that is is whatever, uh, you know, uh, if like that advanced forge I had briefly considered, is that the way that I'm going to represent smokestacks coming out? Like when I first started thinking about a steamship type build with smokestacks, I thought maybe we could have three or four of those forges down the middle to do those. But I think with the current design, I'm cool to use that forge. I think we just want to do it in a way where the chimney isn't, uh, where maybe the chimney's a little hidden so that you just see the big metal smokestack we have. So we'll stash it somewhere in there where it won't be, it won't be sticking right through the deck. Like maybe uh, under the cabin or something like that would be the spot for it. Yeah, you want me to place it down there to see, uh, or you know, I'll put uh, sure. it in the bench. You can place it down there first. Yeah, uh, I'm grabbing some more stuff for myself here. I think I need more stone railings. So hopefully people are comp are patient with this stuff. It takes a little time to get everything I need going here. I got the uh, the uh, the forge I put in in the other ward bench for you. So okay. You can, uh, you can play around with it. And, uh, okay, cool. Decide where you want to put it. Well, I think I'm close to putting a uh, little cabin on, or that top cabin on this, and then the chimney goes on right after that. And then it'll be close to having like its general shape, and we'll start seeing where, where to put actual benches and crafting stations and fridges and all that kind of stuff inside, where it's going to make sense for some dinos to go. Thanks, because I'm, uh, I'm pulling those benches. I'm getting them, uh, you know, as an empty on them, just putting them uh, in those cool. uh, in the crafting stations so you can uh, 
take them out whenever you need them. Oh, I did make a behemoth gate, idiot. Good thing you have enough mats. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and you never know, that, that will come into play at some point. You always need one of those. I swear I cancelled that. Alright. Ooh, and I'm super heavy. Can I put away? Okay. There we go. Should be able to move now. Alright, so starting to get a shape to it. Perfect. We'll get a ladder up there. All right, and I'm just getting myself up in a position to build this little cabin. broken. Huh. Okay. Oh, building with style is actually, uh, uh, is actually calling someone out, I think. Uh, uh, Hex is, uh, Hex away is going offline, so, uh, Okay, Hex cool. Is, uh, gonna go to bed. Uh, we know you can't wa stop watching. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, no, that's good. Well, I hope we can keep a decent little stream going. Uh, last week we did, uh, I can't remember which day it was, but we did uh, jumped over to Monkey Man stream. Um, and that sort of just set a, a time when I had mine to finish. That was Sunday, which worked out well for me. No, oh, this is not working how I want it to work. I'll figure it out. All right, man. Nine Hex. See you uh, next time. Yes. Peace out. All right. And we'll get up in here. And I'll pick up that ladder. Okay, so the cabin I'm keeping fairly simple. Uh, I think the goal is just going to be have all these pieces face in the same way. Perfect. And then... I think... I'm going to come and get... Okay, I'll figure it out. So there's the bow. Bow looks pretty good. I kind of like the way that's all laid out. So the front will be... I think I'm going to need... Yeah, I'm going to come and grab a couple wooden railings. Perfect. I think this is coming together fairly fairly well. By the time we have a little morning light to shed on it, it's going to be looking somewhat like I had intended it to from the get-go. So red, red, what's the uh, what's the stand on the uh, on the uh, on the pole that's going? Really anxious. I really want to know that. Oh, the split of people. Yeah, because it was split. Twenty-seven PC and PS Xbox. So it's fifty-nine, twenty-six. That's 15. pretty much dead even. So right? fi fi yeah, it's, 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 oh, uh, it's, beyond uh, that, almost si almost sixty percent PC is watching. So. Okay. Well, I was thinking it would be we would be on the high side just because. So many of the the patrons and stuff are, are PC people, but I wasn't sure how it would all like overall a whole stream. I wasn't sure how many people were watching that their way of playing was console. 
Um, I think what I'm going to do... Give myself a little raised uh, sort of bridge to go on top of this part. So do a half wall, half wall, half wall. Perfect. And I'll hop over here. Stupid. <laughs> All right. Stupid. Let me jump over this damn thing. Oh, uh, if someone wants to know if you uh, want or need an ice wimmer. Oh, you know what? I don't... I People are so generous in offering that stuff, but I am... Like, if it's not going to fit tidily inside this boat, I'm, I'm probably going to aim not to have it with... Not to have that particular creature, I would say. I think uh, my goal, keep it simple, keep whatever I need inside a boat like this, and then be able to travel around and maybe do a bunch of different uh, builds with the small pillar, go set up somewhere with a big pillar... I think it could be a bunch of different ideas, but I don't know what I would do with a wyvern. People are generous in offering, but I don't know what I... Oh. Shoot. Hey, you know, you don't actually need that furnace, though, because you actually have that smoke, the, the ship chimney. Uh, that's true. Yeah, I wonder how it does uh, sort of efficiency-wise, uh, comparably. Because the reason you guys like that big advanced forge is because of its efficiency, partially, right? Yeah, but I mean, you know, if if, if this one has oh, oh, this one has one like 100 places in it, 100 spots. Okay. And if you put a uh, spark powder in there for like 100, a stack 100, and just fill the rest up with metal, I mean, you just go offline, it'll just keep on going. Okay, beautiful. Well, that'll work. See, I only like the speed part, you know, like when I'm really when I really need it, then I'll, right. that's when I like the speed part. But otherwise, I don't really mind. Oh sh. This grappling hook thing is nonsense. It doesn't make sense that it'll launch you a hundred feet in one direction. There we go. There we go. Perfect. I think I'm where I need to be now. And this, and now my goal here is building a little, uh, building a little sort of uh, cabin that represents where the bridge is, and the smokestack is gonna go right up against the back of it. Perfect. I think I'll eventually do this with a couple of door frames. I will see. Perfect. And then flip this back. Yeah, that's gonna work perfect. There we go. There we go. All right, so I think I've got this part of it done. I'm gonna put a ceiling on this. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. Yes, perfect. And this isn't perfect. I'm getting there. Slow and steady figuring out how these pieces are going to go together. So uh, what's, what's your plan? Are you going to keep by uh, the two hour mark or are you going to uh, keep I on going? I don't know. Uh, I don't really have any reason to have to call it quits. So if we have, uh, yeah, if we have, uh, if we're still going, I don't know. How are we doing? How close are we to that time? I think we're like at one, almost 140, I think. Okay. No, I think we're far enough along that it makes sense to just keep working on this thing. Um, cool. yeah. uh, just, uh, I'm just asking. I have to, I have to log off for a, a little bit because I have to go eat. It's oh, you dinner time over here, so it's uh, it's six thirty, six thirty in the evening over here. So. Yes, you got it, man. Well, I appreciate the backup. If you do have to, if we do, whenever, whenever you do have to go, I will. Uh, I'll take a second and uh, yeah, come on over there. It's uh, yeah, very much appreciated, man. You did lots of prep, hung out, kept me on track, kept me paying attention to chat. So yeah, for for all of the above quite grateful it's a good stream i enjoyed that we can definitely try that again yeah it was i mean i'll be i'll be back on later i mean after cool, dinner I mean, you know, I'll, uh, I'll take a look at it and see if you're still streaming after dinner and uh, i will back in. i will see too i think it's going pretty well i think i have what i need to to get it done 
just have you few, should anyway. <laughs> few pieces. Oh yes, yeah, yeah. I think so. But I mean, few pieces giving me a little bit of placement trouble, but like the actual what I what I need is not going to be a problem. I think I'm fairly well stocked up. So I'm just yeah. yeah I'm, gonna, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm on my way over there. I'll cool meet you. Shall I meet you at the table? And I'll uh, I'll cool be in. logging out over here at the, on, the, on the table. So. Okay, perfect. I'm gonna put this up, and I'll be right over there. I gotta head back that way. Okay, having getting annoyed, trying to place a piece. I was looking at you like, oh man, he's yeah. just going I all over the place. I think that's it. <laughs> that's kind of what I was looking for. I don't know how that's gonna look with the roof on top. We'll see. Uh, all right, I might have to do that a little bit differently. I'll figure it out. Looks at the wall. If you stand over here, it looks like the wall on the top left. Uh huh. It, it looks like that. It looks that one. It looks. It looks, ugh, it looks yeah. like that one's just off. English. I mean, come on. I mean, yes. words no. use them. You know. So. You know how, <laughs> man. I say it. Uh, I can't even shoot the thing I want to shoot from here. It's, it's not giving me the right uh, thing from the devil gun. I think I may have to tweak that a little bit. Uh, we'll see. Yeah, that won't let me pick that up. Interesting. I'll head back over there. Uh, but yeah, I think that'll be that'll be the little bridge. I'm gonna move the little chimney right up behind it. I'm gonna build a little cabin on on top, and then uh, flatten it out towards the back. The back will have a little dino gate. I think it's perfect, man. Yeah, it definitely looks pretty good I've so far. I mean, gotta figure out where yeah, the come a long way. this emote. I think that's the one. Wait. Get. Hold on. What? These emotes are stuck on my screen. <laughs> There we go. That do one? Did I bow? I think that was the intention. Yeah, you did. <laughs> okay. I feel like I, it also said you shook your head negatively, so that's less than perfect. But yeah, thank Ooh, you, man. No, yeah. Yeah. yeah, man, no problems. Like I said, you know, I'll be, uh, I'll uh, check out the stream if you're still streaming. Mm -hmm. I'll pop in uh, after dinner. Cool. All right. Um, well, thank you very much. Somebody said dynamic. Do you do YouTube in chat there? Uh, no, I don't actually. Uh, yeah. Uh, Red, I don't. I don't do YouTube. No, yep. Sorry, man. Um, but no, dynamic. Just, uh, one of our, our the geeks, one of the Patreon supporters on here, uh, takes tons of time to prep and make sure I got everything I need to build, and I'm finally putting it to good use. So uh, yeah, man. If you if you ever do start, clearly people are curious about it. But uh, yeah, it went went well. So definitely, if we're doing something similar tomorrow, we can do that if you're around. People can oh, yeah, cool. get to see um, again. Uh, I'll be, uh, if not, I should be around tomorrow. if not, we got the next week after that to do. So this turned out pretty good, man. I appreciate the help and the the company while building. Yeah, I mean, no problems, man. Like I said, I'll, I'll, I'll be, uh, I'll check out the stream if you're still streaming. I'll uh, pop back in. Cool, buddy. Thank you very All much right, for man. the help. No problems, man. I'll see you. Uh, I might see you later. Okay, cool. Well, there you go, guys. Hey, uh, see you later, chat. That is see Dynamic you guys. D, guys. Thank you, brother. And we no are... Problems, man. Uh, I am going to do... Okay, cool. I'm trying to get this demo gun working the way I want. Take that off. All right, so I don't like the way that little cabin up top uh, quite worked out. So we'll figure that out. Uh, let me see here. I'll put that away. Perfect, so yeah, no company. Now I have to entertain you guys all by my lonesome unless somebody uh, decides to drop in. Uh, I think. Whoops, I can do that? Why is that on? I didn't mean to be able to delete things. There we go. Yes, forgetting which server I'm on. I shouldn't be able to delete things. Okay, I, yeah, I don't like the way that that roof came together. So let's get ourselves up there. Can I do that properly? Come on, come on, come on, grappling hook, yes. Okay, perfect. Yeah, so I'm in an interesting time, guys, with so Game of Thrones. By the time you see me tomorrow, I might be totally caught up with everybody. So... I think I got three episodes of, of fun and excitement left. I've had predictions come through. We'll see. It's going to be fun. But yeah, I'm going to avoid looking at spoilers. <laughs> Try not to spoil. And for anybody, I hope I didn't spoil. I very briefly mentioned blah, blah, blah at the end of season six. This was happening. So I don't want to ruin anything for anybody. I think we'll take this down too. So I was going to have railings on top. Now I'm wondering if we just put a ceiling on top. Like that. Nope. Where did that ceiling go? No idea. 
That's annoying. <laughs> there perfect and then we'll try and put this window frame back that I keep picking up perfect and then I'll use the gun pick this up we got a roof above our heads okay that worked okay so we can take down this we can take down this we can take down this and this and I think the only thing we definitely need are to do them up top here. So, so we can get ourselves up there. That'll do it. So yeah, this is the height that that cabin is going to be at. This is the height we're going to place the... Whoops, not what I was looking for. We're going to place the uh, chimney right up against the back of this thing. So... Uh, I guess we would want to do... Okay, let, let me see if I can get myself up there, guys. It's, it's making me annoyed. I'm Like I said, I'm used to being able to fly. We did building evolved streams instead of streams on the Patreon server. So I'm used to just pick up and fly, go where I need. Oh, I don't have that material. I just double click and it hops into my inventory. Yes. Perfect. Okay, so... Uh, now... Like that, yes. And that could work. I think that can work. And then I think we're gonna do a straight wood wall on the back, but the way that we've done it, everything is inside out. So that means put a chimney, or chimney, a ceiling there, and then the wood wall is gonna attach to this. I do it right look at my feet like that okay let me pick this up and then I think what I'm gonna do is replace one or two of these either both maybe both of these with door frames and little stairs going up the side but what we are gonna do is pick up that chimney and we're gonna place it in right behind this cockpit and then we're gonna be very close to uh, we're gonna be bringing together some of the design so I made it with ways last time we could make it longer something like that okay right so you're beginning to see that's some of the shape that we got going on I've obviously got to bring walls down from where we are up here yeah okay well that's the next step right there so we might as well do that let's get out of this and we're gonna use these wooden ceilings Yes, okay, perfect. Pick up this thing. And I'll run some ceilings down, and this is where we're gonna be attaching some wood walls for the cabin until we figure out how far back the cabin is gonna go. So, so we'll go here. So these are coming in inside out, but they're properly aligned. So the cabin is now three back. Do we still have the window frames? Just one. So we should actually take out the ceiling before we place the walls. So we'll go make more window frames. So I think I could do that. I think we could do one more right here. And then I think that's probably where you're gonna wanna stop it. So that would mean we come across like this, okay? Like, uh, and then some inside out ones right here. And we're going to be figuring out how to get a um, another gate uh, sorted out in here. So that's a that's a thing we're going to be doing here as well. Let me see if I can take back our old ceilings, the ones that we got out here. One, two, three, four. Put that away. Go back to number six. So yeah, I'm learning. I got this new mouse, guys. It is good. It's bad at the same time. I'm still trying to figure it out. Put that gun away. Perfect. And then we're out of the walls we would need to do this with. So, let's build ladder down from here. 
climb down and tell me guys hopefully music volume still good hopefully my voice volume still good anyone know an arc pve server well that's kind of what we have going on uh over here this is uh mainly mainly about building whatever the heck you want to build there's a lot lots of fun going on here nobody nobody getting in too many disputes except things occasionally go missing so don't steal did have a brief brief complaint of thefts hopefully limited uh and i am getting to a point i'm trying to figure out uh trying to figure out our next steps and i want to make sure i bring everything we're gonna need let's grab another ladder put you there and can i boom that's cr well, really they let me climb that we'll see We'll see. Come on. Come on. Okay, I guess I gotta put another ladder up. That's bizarre that it's doing that. Uh, there we go. Okay, come on. Let us climb this time. Oh, is it because I'm encumbered? Am I encumbered? That's silly. Why can't I climb that ladder? Must be something wrong with it. Glitched. Okay. Well, the whole point of it was to make it easier to get back up there. Hopefully, it's not too hard. That's all I was looking for. Okay, and pick you back up. Because you're facing the wrong way. And we'll pick you up, and then we're going to back up, guys. We're going to take a look at this, see how it looks shape and dimension-wise. Uh, so that would mean number four. Pick you up. Um, and take you out. We are going to do the window frames right here. Put that away. So one, two, and three. And we're going to end up doing this on the other side. But that means we can actually roof in one. If I can find the roofs, two, and three. Oh, ooh, not quite what I had in mind, but we're getting there. Okay, perfect. So, I don't know if I still have a pot of coffee. We'll see. Yeah. It's, I'm gonna maybe take a break and see if there's more coffee on the thing. I don't know if there will be. I can't remember if I grabbed the last one. So it's starting to look quite arc-like as it stands right now. Like a, a Noah. How are the walls? Okay, I think that's what we're looking for. Um, but it means we're gonna do a couple of different things. I don't know, shoot. Yeah, I think what we're gonna do is maybe take out you. Okay, let's get closer. So I think I wanna take out that. And I think we could even take out that. Interesting. I want to see. Okay. Oh, this is going to be a pain in the butt. I'm going to try and do some inside out nonsense again here, guys. Uh, so we'll put another ceiling. Okay. Never mind. I'll get myself in there, figure out exactly how to do this. But we got the general shape of it right. And we can remove this, 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 this. I can go window frame. Actually, I don't know if we want to do window frames on the back here. I think I'll stick the window frames over here. So the window frame. And we'll put one there, put one there. And I think maybe we go with walls across the back. And I think the goal here is going to be to try and incorporate another gate right at the back of this thing, because we are now going to be four high. We're actually four and a half high. So. 
Yeah, let me see that. Okay, so the interesting thing about getting the, the gates uh, where you want them is I had to use these things and we ended up having to use uh, triangles as well. I'm gonna grab more of those triangles, I guess, if we're gonna mess around with this. Be these. So we'll grab those, we'll grab actual ones. And I guess we need to make one more gate. So that's gonna go there. This is gonna be a back entrance. We're gonna figure out exactly how to do uh, the shape back here. But this back area should be somewhat open. That's what I'm picturing. So um, go here, here, here. Those should match, yep. Perfect. Ooh, that's a little funky. Why, is that, why are those so messed up? They're all inside. I wonder why they don't line up. That's strange. Anyway, yeah, I think we're doing okay. You should have beacons on there. Okay. Uh, so let's, let's figure out how we're going to get uh, a door centered in the middle here. Let's pick you up. Yeah, let's pick you up. So we want the gate to line up with this. So that means let's go this, let's put a triangle thing there, triangle thing there. No, no, no. Uh, this could, this can kind of work. Okay. I think. I think I messed it up. I'm trying to get so with the triangles you can you can get uh, you can change how things snap the centering of things. Here and we can take out as long as I don't shoot the raft we're okay. So the goal is to have. Two, one, two. So I think that means so I now have two wide there. That isn't quite in line. It's just in, but that could work. So now I can go here and here. So that's how much in I'm going to be from the wall. So now when I come through, I guess, with these three, I can go one, two, three. And now we should potentially have a thing for a gate to snap to and it will become much easier if I remove the stuff around it. And with Structures Plus, I can do that, and we can put it back after. So I should now have a two wide centered pretty close to where I want it, and we'll go make uh, one more gate. Should we make it out of wood? I think maybe we can make it out of wood and have it look good. We'll see here. Perfect. All right, so we're coming together, guys. Oh, yes, thank you, William. We're going to be giving away that copy to Monkey Man, uh, from Monkey Man, and it's going to go to one of you guys. He's going to draw it at the end of today's stream, and then to, or the end of tomorrow's, maybe. But then by the end of tomorrow's stream, he might hop in voice chat with us and tell us somebody who won it, which would be kind of cool. So why don't we make one of each? We'll make a stone gateway, make a wood gateway, I'll take you, I'll take you, and what else am I anticipating us going to be needing here? At the moment, nothing. I just kind of want to power through and see what, how much I can bring this to life for you guys, see how much you can see the concept I have in mind. So, and, and the functionality, like this step here is not uh, for looks so much it is to make the thing functional. So it gets so many snap points. That's why I've tried to remove some of the stuff around it. If we go here and here, it should only be one spot in the middle and maybe removing some of the upper stuff is key. Interesting. And that would mean I could take out this and this, huh? Because now, now I don't know what's going to fit through there unless I remove these. And these are going to look a little weird. 
I could sink the gate down so that it's uh, three high instead of, so the top of it would be right here. I think we could do that pretty easily if we wanted to. So put away the gun and we sink the gate down to the same level as the other gate maybe? Maybe we could get away with that? Baby Spino was killed. Oh, they're trying to get, uh, I don't know what they're trying to get. They're trying to get Spino sails um, for, I'm gonna tr be trying a boss battle this afternoon. Okay, so once I've done that, I should be able to build off at this height and go one, two, three, and four, which is gonna make it difficult for me to get up and down. But if we come back to the back, I think we're doing this right. I think we got a I think we got the design figured out. So that would mean number four. Okay, pick up the gate. Pick up the things the gate was previously attaching to. And now attach the gate to down here. That's better. Definitely better. We can figure out a way to make that work. Uh, do we like the wood or do we want stone there? Yeah, here, let's put these back. And we'll clip this right in. I think that's gonna make life simple. Oh, what, I lose? Oh yeah, this one. Yeah, can that work for us? Is that gonna work? I don't know. Okay. Interesting. Oh, that's great, D. Thank you for hanging out, brother. He's saying it's pizza night at his place. I'm still trying to derp around with the, the entrance back here. I think the problem is me trying to get it perfectly in line. I think I'd be better off if I don't have it perfectly in line with the wall that's behind it. So we got time, guys. Like I said, I'm in no hurry to wrap this up, especially if we still got people watching. I don't know what the audience is like at the moment. Let's take a peek. 76 on my end. So we'll pull that up, pull that up. Okay, and we'll get back in the game. My raft disappearing and reappearing. That's freaky. Okay, so we'll take out this. Like I said, careful not to shoot the raft. Okay. Okay, and I'll put this away. We'll get back up here. And once again, we gotta try and figure out how to get uh, our gate in here in a way that makes sense. Um, we want it centered, and we want to figure out how to not mess up the wall above so that the wall's coming into the middle of the thing. Uh, let's get up there then. Let's use the grappling hook. Let's get up top. Let's put the roof on this and let's see exactly how we'd want to deal with this. All right, and disconnect me. There we go. Perfect, stay in line. Nope. Okay, some of them are gonna try and snap weird ways. Yeah, pizza night at Dynamic D's house sounds like a good thing. So I would go for that as well. I do not walk away from pizza night. Yeah, different time zones, I suppose. It's still coffee time for me. Okay, these are driving me nuts. Do that. Come on, you bastard. God, it's driving me nuts. There we go, success. Okay. So that's what I'm thinking. Eventually you'll have a little door here. That'll be your way in and out of that. Okay. And this is supposed to be the back of... It's grappled. This thing doesn't like being grappled too very well. Okay. And we'll look back at that thing. Interesting. Okay, I think we can I think we can work it out. I think that's gonna work. 
the height that it's at. I don't think I need to play with that cabin. I could, uh, I don't know what to do with that cabin. I think it's the right size, but it feels like it could be good. Yeah, that, <laughs> that thing had it coming red. That thing had it coming. I just, it deserved to be called a bastard. <laughs> oh, let's do, skip this song, because it's one that starts turning into talking. There's a good little fun, fun tune. Okay. Yes. Okay, so let's get... I think we're very close to getting this the way we want. The real key, guys, is getting the second uh, dino gate in. And because my idea is for this back area to be like a workshop, so that uh, this back area will not be covered in. That the covering will... the decking will stop back here. So, um... I have to figure out... I have to figure out if we want the back of the boat, uh, the walls, to dip a little lower. Like, that would look like... Oh, that did not work well. So, I'm just trying to get a piece in here. It's so hard to see. Oh, god dang it. Sorry, guys. Derping around a little bit here. Get me on here and get me off of here. Okay. And let me fix Gamma. That's probably why it's getting bright on us. So uh, let's go ahead and put you right there. Okay, so we're going to try something a little different on the back of this. And that would be number... Bring this one out. Nope. Bring this one out. Like so. Okay, perfect. And switch to railing, pick up stone railing. All right. So, um, okay, I want to back up and see how this is going to look. I don't know if we want to do it just like that. I guess I can try putting... Okay, I'm playing around with the concept as we go here, guys. So we take that out. And we'll try this. Not what I had in mind. All right, we're getting there. Okay, so number, what are you, right? Left. So that should go there. Okay. Nope. God dang. So annoying. Wanting to flip upside down. When you want it to, it won't. But when you don't, it will. Okay, there. So let's see how that shape looks. And then what we're going to have to do here in the middle is more of what we had going before. Where I clear out, oh, careful with your shoot and clear out the foundations. Uh, and in order to try to make a gate centered on this little area. So I think if I go one, two, boom. And so this is going to be slightly different positioning than the last time, even. I think this could work. Okay. I think this is the way to do it. I think I gotta take out the little ceilings though. Crap! This is pretty tricky. All right, and I think once I take these out, if I go, uh, put this away, and I go ceiling here. Nope, yes, okay, and a ceiling here. Then the gate should go dead center right between. We wanna try the stone one and see how it looks. Oh, I gotta clear out what's above it, don't I? Tricky, tricky, tricky. And maybe we try that. Tell me you want to go where I want you to go. Right, okay. Interesting. Okay, so that means what I'm going to do is take out this, this, and this. Ch changing some plans as we go here. And I think it's going to be for the best. Um, so I'm going to have to leave some of these ceilings in place. Uh, so I'll take, boom, and I think the ceilings I'll take out are, uh, this one and this one, and the other two should do the job to support it, and put the gun away, and we go across, one, two, three, put one up here, 
one up here, and there, there's our shape, there's our gate. So we do have something weird going on, but I think I figured out how to solve that too. So if I can build... Uh, oh, actually... What I need is... So take that out. And I think what I did originally was I built with one of these and that's gonna give me the way to close that little shape there. Okay, so then this can come out, this can come out, and then we can put a one of these here. And then we're still gonna put the, uh, whatchamacallit, the ceilings back, or the foundations back. So we'll still get covered, we'll cover up our pontoons, stash this in here, and then I think, uh, I'm going to be able to build, yes. Okay, so this is what I was looking for. One, two. And now we found a, a more elegant way of sorting it out, of tying it in. Uh, yeah, I don't know where to go exactly from here. Uh, yeah, we'll figure it out. Because that's going to come across... Hmm. Okay, I'm, I'm still figuring out how these shapes are going to come together on the front. Let's back up and take a look. Um, one thing that we could still add is uh, the stone half walls. And the stone half walls would be in that lowest uh, point there. The other thing we could maybe do, if I took off you and you, and then we go uh, put this away. Let me grab that sloped wall again and that so that's another adjustment to the shape and the other thing we could do like i was saying is fill in the space in between with the stone half walls so those would be the railings and we'd make it look like the front we'd make it look like not so drastic a drop down the front just drops down a half wall the bow does and on the back i think that's probably the way we'll have to do it which means taking out this piece and this piece for now I think that means that. And we're gonna need probably four more stone railings. So I'll head up there and do that. And then, okay, I think I'm on it. I think it's coming together here, guys. We got the gate where we wanted it and everything. Um, that was key for me. I think we're gonna stick with the stone gate. Uh, it, it works with this thing. And let's hop in here. Let's go. Did I make, I probably already have the railings, but rail. Uh, I got 12, that is, here, let's take half. And take half of those two, just to be safe. Encumbered, that's fine. So I think I'm gonna swim around to the other side. Uh, at some point, we're gonna have to put up ceilings on either side. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to reach though. Uh, no, that's not quite what I had in mind. And ceilings, keep those on the hot bar, too slow. And grab that. Yes, perfect. So that and this. And these will be for the sloped uh, stone walls to attach to, to uh, ease into those railings when the railings get turned into the half walls. I might as well do it over here, I guess. So we're gonna have it there. And there. And we'll have to go remove the ones that are there. I think this is going to work out well. I think we're on uh, on pace. I like how the back of the boat turned out, that we've managed to incorporate a dino gate without it looking enormous. Um, it's not messing up the shape of the boat, which was my whole goal, is to not have the dino gate screw up uh, the shape of this thing. All right, let's shove some food in my face. All right, and then we're going to switch these ones over. Half walls. Okay. It's gonna be a little difficult. Perfect. And we'll try. I don't know how successful I'm gonna be at this. Right on the other side of this wall is the thing that I need to be standing on. So if I... Nope. 
What? Come on. Sometimes it launches your freaking miles in the air. What? Oh, lag. There we go. Alright. So there's the thing I'm trying to land on. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Perfect. Grappling skills. Okay, so now we need to figure out one of these. So if I flip that, that's going to be in a different position. So instead, we'll grab this one. And we'll make sure, I'm pretty sure that it's attaching. Yes, so we were able to cross those over. This is attached to this. That's attached to the inside. So that's the look we were going for. And where are my, yes, perfect. Just gonna grab my ceilings here, make a little space, and we're gonna do the exact same thing here if we can manage it. Yes, okay, that's what I'm looking for. Uh, and that means get rid of this this, this, and this. Alright, I think that looks pretty good. That's pretty close to what I had in mind. It's a little bit, we might want to play around with the bottom and try and make it look like it tapers in more, uh, like as a ship on the bottom, we'll see. Might take some playing around with. I would do some slightly different designs next time, uh, where I come in around doing with the same, same sort of goals in mind. I think uh, uh, there's some things I could think of to do differently. All right, let's try once again. Uh, we're gonna take you out, take you out. And then, like I said, I'm gonna try once again that grappling technique, because I'm a boss grappler. Uh, let me know, guys, I would like to see uh, in the chat. So what I'm thinking about for building, I really enjoyed how we did a project today. Um, I like that uh, if I got a little prep and a little help from a guy like Dynamic D, it means I can build something here in survival and do it smooth uh, without it being a whole lot of hassle. So that's not right. But um, but the railings aren't on on this side, so we need to get railing. Railing, we need to take you off. And I think what I'm gonna do is put these in the middle. Yeah, that's perfect. I'm on the, I'm on a roll now, guys. I think I got it all figured out. I'm gonna put you in the middle. I'm gonna come and grab the gun, pick up you, pick up you. Perfect. And then we're gonna one and one, and we'll switch these all to half walls. Ooh, interesting. Okay. And then we're just gonna add in the little slopes. The slopes have to be double sided. So the way that these are are done, we have to do this little trick where we're snapping the slope to. Uh, this instead, so I think it would be, yes, like that, and that doesn't break anything, that means we did it right, put another one right there, perfect, and that would leave this one, right, come on, uh, okay, I don't know where we just put that, I think right underneath us here, yeah, so we'll pick that up. A little slow and steady doing this building, guys. You're used to seeing me do the creative streams. But if you enjoy it, if you enjoy doing it like this, we have this project where we're boat building, and then eventually I think I'm going to travel around and keep do some small builds around uh, the, the place. Um, I don't really have a specific plan yet. But uh, take this boat and maybe travel and, and do a bunch of small, simple builds. The other spot we have is on the center. Uh, Dynamic D has also prepped a lot of stuff there. So on the center, I'd started building a really cute little cabin. We got a bunch of different mods on there that make that one fun. Didn't know you could switch to half walls. So that's Structures Plus only, but yes, it's fantastic. Fantastico. So one thing I might want to change is, is trying to get this to taper in on the bottom. I know that's going to be a pain though. Oh, I don't really want to do it. It's going to get a pain to get it the way I want, I think. All right, so let's get ourselves up to the very top. Um, I think we're going to need a hatch frame. I think that's a smart idea. Let's go get ourselves a hatch frame. And do I have ladders on me still? What have I done with them? I can't remember. An impressive amount of gigas. Yeah, that's true. There are a lot of gigas over on that one spot on the server. Excuse me. How many hours do you guys have in ARC? That's crazy. I think people would be shocked to see how few hours I have playing the game. 
all my basically all my game time over the last year pretty much has been dedicated towards content creation and very little has been dedicated just to fun um so what did i say i needed over here uh hatch frame okay and i think i know what i'm gonna do it hatch frame a couple of door frames so we'll grab a wooden hatch frame go door uh, and I think wooden door frame, wooden door frame. I don't think I need doors for them. Let's put doors. Screw it. And let's make some uh, windows. Because I might want to fill up some of the windows on this boat. Um, so. Let's make four more of those. There we go, finally. Okay, uh, let's close that out. And then ladders. I think we're going to go rope ladder. How many? Okay, perfect. Let's craft three. Whoops. Okay, perfect. Yeah, we're on a roll. I think we got just about everything we need here, guys. Um, we're going to bring this thing bring this thing home pretty well. Um I might save the transfer of all of the equipment and stuff, fridges and storage and all that kind of stuff. I know D brought a ton of it over here. All right, so I think I can put away those. I think I can put away what's on my hotbar that I can put away. Jeez, I don't know. Um, I got my letters, I got the hatch frame. Put those away, put those away. Okay, oh, and sunset, starting to look like something. I think we would ideally put a uh, paintbrush to it too, but maybe we can work on that tomorrow. That'll be interesting. Maple leaf too, if I remember my flags correctly. What are you guys talking about flags and maple leaves? Um, so we are going to use our hatch frame. And actually, let's do this for you guys. Get the light up. So what I want to do... Get the hatch frame. <laughs> there we go. Put the hatch frame there. We're going to grab a grappling hook. Uh, we are going to go get up to a certain height. And then we are just going... Oh, crap. All right. And grapple me all the way up. And pop. Okay. Oh, per I thought I would stay attached. I clearly didn't. <laughs> All right, we got another song coming. Is this playlist still going? Or has it decided to stop again? I think it can go. Nope, too slow. There we go. That's a little more upbeat. We got. I want to make sure I keep the energy up. And I, this is as much for me as it is for you guys, the energy thing and the music. So I'm just trying to get myself in a position to actually be able to place ladders. Uh, I think. Yep, nailed it. And then that gives us an actual boom. Okay. And I can climb up it. Okay. And then now what we're going to be doing uh, is... Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna have to place a ceiling out here. Uh, I think I'm gonna have to pick up this window. I'm gonna have to place a ceiling out here too. And pick this up and we're gonna do uh, windows, or sorry, door frames instead. So that you can actually get in and out of what counts as the, the sort of cockpit area. Do I only have one door frame, like a door kiss? smooth okay that's not what I wanted there we go and we'll take this one down pick it up and where does that make me go okay perfect here and let's go get uh, one more door frame almost there I swear I made one so appreciate you guys hanging out I don't know how are we doing number of people watching now in chat I get distracted and don't pay the best attention uh, where are we at? 
72, it looks like to me, if my stats are right. Two hours, 20 minutes in. So I'm cool to keep it going for a little bit longer. And set that up, okay. And then clear you out. And let's see what we miss in here. I must have just left it behind when I needed it. Uh, let's go ahead. On it, okay. Okay, get me up there. That can work. I didn't make a little trap door yet, but that will, will, work, will work. Okay, perfect. And then we can take this down. And I think we're gonna want a couple of ramps. I don't have those, right? I think we could do little ramps coming down off there. Maybe the stair version, and then maybe we'll have railings around like this. Yeah, I think we could do this. We'll see. All right, we'll just do a couple of railings for now. Get something in there I like. Yeah, okay. And so that's the front. This is where you're gonna come up if you need to come up. We'll, we will need those railings. This is the lookout point of view. The front, uh, nothing fancy goes on up here. I hadn't done anything with that yet. We could get another door frame here if we wanted. For example, let's just say we go door frame here and door frame here. Then we'd have to have something useful up top uh, to do with this space. So we gotta figure out, I guess, how to close in the back of this too. Okay, yeah, let's see about, let's see about finishing off the back of the... Come on, come on. Come on, stupid grappling hook. There we go, attach. Okay, there we go. So, uh, I guess I go ceiling, 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 yep. And pick up the wood wall. All right, and I have to figure out how to close that little area in. What am I gonna be doing with this area? Uh, it's, man, it's a little slow derping around with this right now, apologies. All right, and that means I can come over here, pick this up. there and grab the demo gun oh. all right take out that and that and that means now uh, I think take out the gun I think this is all I'm doing okay okay Ooh, there we go And, okay, top of this coming together. Starting to feel a design for it now. We're starting to starting to have this looking like something. And getting the tricky bits done with. I have to figure out what exactly how to do the back, but my idea for the back is to have all the crafting stations lined on the sides. Um, so, we now have, I guess, hmm. So I didn't want to bring this down too far and block anything off. So that would be something like, like this. Yeah, I'm just afraid of stuff not being able to squeeze through that little space there. But I mean, I think we're doing the right. Yeah, how exactly am I gonna do that? Like I have the, I have this little space here. I think I can figure something out. Do I have, let's check this little inventory here. I think I have an idea. Nope, I gotta go make some stuff. All right, BRB. Uh, I think I need some of the, 
it's just kind of awkward looking that that back bit and i want to make sure i don't mess up uh oh the the actual uh, outline of it looks great though utc need any help with i think i'm good but you can hang out Yeah, you're welcome to pop in if you're watching Geek Tech. You're welcome to pop into the... I'm just in a little... The weekend stream voice chat. Which usually I, I, I just kind of trust people. If they got something important to say, if something I'm missing on the stream, drop in. But you're welcome welcome to do it. Um, okay, so that looks like something. It looks like something. We kind of have a bit of a design going. Uh, and I just need the back to look right. I just need to get that... Uh, yeah. Interesting. Well, maybe it's time to try piloting it. I don't know. The back's pretty darn close to where I want it. Uh, here, I guess I'm gonna grab one thing before we do. I'm gonna try and get try and get that little part that's bothering me to look better. Um, grab a few slope walls, uh, the triangle roofs. I think we'll do it. So, uh, half of those, half of those and triangle and it's this one i would need a few of okay making a few of those now okay that's most of what i need we'll just keep keep working away at this um i thought about how to add uh entrances on the sides i don't know how much i'm gonna bother i like the way that it looks um I don't want to twerk, tweak with it too much. Um, go for it, man. Nice little tugboat. Yeah, it looks great. Uh, okay, and we'll put this up here. And I don't know, I'm curious to see if a triangle foundation is gonna fill, or a triangle roof. It's not gonna work perfectly, but I'm curious if it's gonna help obscure the, the weird shapes that we got going on here. Okay, there, well, there's one thing. Interesting. There was one really weird little uh, snap point there that I thought I could use. But it's not playing along with me anymore. Interesting. Ugh. Yeah, these are so weird. Look at how, how flashy they are. How much they're not settling into one particular place. I think that's the type of thing I, I was picturing, if I could get away with it. Yeah, so let's try that instead. I'm gonna put the gun away. And maybe I'll get on the inside of this thing. So, I don't know how weird that's gonna look off the sides. Uh, and then, we are gonna be, to some degree, we're gonna be doing this, but I'm gonna grab wooden sloped walls uh, to go underneath uh, and hopefully we'll just make that look nice and smooth and then by dawn we'll have something we can go check out keep knocking on wood this uh, stream has gone great so far just replying to the guys So, yeah, we're supposed to be doing an event later today. People cannot seem to gather. There are no Spinosaurs on this map, and the ones that are showing up are not dropping the little trophy they're supposed to drop that's involved in helping you get to the boss battle arena thing, whatever it's called. So, so I think we will make it work. Um, we're going to be doing that this afternoon. I think I will record it and see if it's going to turn into a fun video. I've never done any sort of boss arena anything, so it'll be interesting. Making a couple of each of these. Okay. And we're, yeah, pretty darn close. Oh, that looks so weird. I think I gotta get rid of that. That can't be what I was looking for. That can't be the solution. That looks so stupid. Okay, we'll get in there. Yeah, they haven't spawned back. Uh, right did do a
a scan saying they fixed it. Uh, we did a we did do a wild dino wipe for those guys who are watching that. We did try that. Okay, so put that there. And put this here. I don't know where that snapped. Oh, right there. All right. So put that there, and then I'm thinking we have the sloped one come down, different sloped one come down like that. And I think what we just need to do is do a slight variation on what we're trying to do here because this version isn't gonna work properly. It's creating some weird shapes for us. So if I take those out, but we use triangle ceilings or we use the sloped roof things. Um, so that would mean, uh, I'm gonna just keep <laughs> messing around with it, trying to make something work. Okay. That shape wouldn't be the worst, so let's try that maybe, and then we'll use this and this. Is that going to be a weird shape? Yeah, I'm trying to get... I'm trying to get... Something that will close in this little space for us, because we have an awkward space here, and I don't want walls coming down on either side. Um, I can fix it potentially by putting a wall here and then maybe the triangle attaching to that is going to give us something different of an idea. Okay, come on, let me pick you up. Okay, I don't know guys, I don't know how I'm going to close this little last bit of it off. So I could simply have the have these come all the way down, but then it's really only a one wide opening and I, I've kind of messed some things up. So originally I had created this, an angle here in the ground that we could take advantage of. Um, I created like a, a snap point that kind of ran from here to here and that's what I was trying to use. Maybe the one that comes off the other side of it. Maybe there's an alternative one to that. All right. Uh, maybe I'd take out some of the stone foundations and we go from there. Right. So that's the shape we created. So the triangles that we have in here now aren't necessarily helping. So if we do a different ones... Uh... I'm just trying to figure out what to snap to, to give us the best bet here. So I can't get rid of those two uh, wooden ones that are right there. But I will, okay. I do have to empty some crap here, I guess. It's giving me a hard time. Inventory is still too heavy to jump. Okay, what do you want? Man, uh, you can, I guess, have those for now. All right. So I want to figure out... the best way to do this. Trouble finding a good spot for those. Oh, and that's a weird height too. Yeah, this build gets tricky. We've done some kind of weird things to it. So I'm now in kind of like the, the stages of trying to make it not suck. <laughs> um... So I, I need to figure out a way, some, a way to do these walls differently. Maybe if I got up top there, we'll see. Okay. 
There we go. So, I could build off of here to get the shape I'm looking for. That would be a weird shape, though. So, I don't know. That's probably going to be weird. It's probably going to give me the exact same issue I was worried about before. But maybe I can sort it out differently. I'm trying to think. It's weird. Certainly very weird looking right now. playing with this silly idea keep trying to make this thing not look stupid I don't know it's a little bit frustrating how to get this uh, get this gate centered the way I want it without messing up the look of the boat because at this point I'm leaning towards get this crap off my screen at this point I'm leaning towards undoing a bunch of what we've got done here just to make a better to, just to set this up better So let's put those on the hot bar. Let's put the ceilings one and two. And we'll try and grapple up top. Okay, so. This is a simpler way to do it, if I can make it make it work okay oh and I need one more all right now I'll put this bad boy away all right we'll take out these I'm gonna go make one more uh, stone, or one more wood triangle ceiling. Oh, and there's Geek Tech right there. How's it going, man? Hey, what's going on, buddy? Oh, hey. Wasn't sure if I was just saying hi or if you could actually hear me. Uh, yeah, I jumped in, but you're in the middle of talk, and I don't want to interrupt you. Oh, please. I'm, I'm just rambling until I know there's <laughs> for sure there's someone else there. So yeah, I have a few, few little things I'm trying to get worked out with the design that I, I'm not quite happy with. But the overall shape of it I like. It's kind of giving me the look I was going for. Looks really good. Yeah, I think it uh, would benefit from like a two-tone paint scheme too if I were to get that going. Take this with us. Take that with us. Okay. Oh, you might get hot in that particular outfit out here. <laughs> gets toasty here. Yeah, I was also looking for ice wavings earlier. No luck still. But, no? Yeah. Um, alright. So. Jump over there. Okay. I'm working towards the the f a, f a new end version of it. I think it's going to work out. We'll see. It's getting the gate where I want it. That's been the tricky part. Yeah, gates on boats are always fun to play with. I need that and that. And I think that will do it. But if not, then I take out the triangles. So, take out that, that, that. Now I'm encumbered. That's perfect. It's coming to an end. I think I'm going to be able to start emptying some of the inventory. All right, and then over 
here, be able to pop that gate back in. Okay, that can work fine then. Yes, I think I got it the way I want now, but I don't know, don't know quite how this will look compared to what I was originally going for. myself a little bit. That's good. Um I don't know, that looks good actually. Yeah, I'm I'm aiming. I think I need uh grab myself a couple more stone foundations, but other than that, it has come together pretty good. Um Okay. So I've been building inside out on the whole build, uh, the wood walls so that it just means every time I get up here, I have to go play around to get them to snap the other way. Okay. Oh yeah, that's uh, playing with the inside out walls is, yeah. it looks really good, but it turns into a complication. Yes, but uh, you can make the most of it. So I'll put that there, that there, that there, that there. Yeah, it's a lot of, I do a lot of back and back and forth trying to get it to snap the way I want. Okay, and I'll pop that. Yeah, it's... Whew. Coming together, and there we go. I think that'll give us the beginning of what we need. Yeah, I have, uh, took time for me to get, to really get into Structures Plus. I was so used to building with vanilla because I'd been doing tutorials, but, um, it's, it's great. It's hard to go back to anything else once you learn how to use it. That's great. Okay, so. Yeah, but it takes a while because you get used to all the snap points on vanilla. And mm. S Plus doesn't have all the old snap points. No, it has a lot of stuff that's, that's weird. Yeah, I mean the triangle, uh, the sort of sloped triangle roofs are a weird, weird thing too. They're one of the last things I really got into. Oh, that's fair. Yeah, they they have a billion snap points. They're pretty interesting. Um, I'm sure there's stuff that you can do with them that I just haven't even figured out yet. Ways you could make the bottom of this boat look better, I would imagine, so that it kind of tapers in. Okay, that's pretty close to what I was going for. Not perfect, but... No, but it does kind of flow together, though. Mm-hmm. A couple little things I don't love about it, but I think no time for perfectionism today. I won't make the stream insanely long. All right, I think that is everything I need. Yeah. No, I, I think it's about, it's going to be time very soon to make it, to sail it. I just didn't want to get it out of this little area where I could keep building and have to reposition it. And then fix your inventory. Yeah. There we go. So I'm going to leave that stuff. Okay, I can think of a couple of things that we'll want. Uh, should take it. Uh, I think uh, not much. I don't know if you're just over there um, and you want to get a couple things crafting, if you don't mind. I don't know oh, if you're sure. just standing there. I think I could use two wooden door frames, just the regular ones. 
Um, I could definitely use more of those little triangle, wooden triangle ceilings too. Um, and I'm pretty sure Dynamic D left a massive amount of resources, so we shouldn't shouldn't be short on stuff. But I'm just trying to figure out how to, uh, yeah, just how to how to do the uh, the walkway and stuff on the inside here. Because um, I'll want like a little catwalk over top of the dino storage. We'll see. Looks like we've run into a slight shortage of wood. Okay. It might be in the other tables, unless you've already tried that. I tried pulling. Okay, cool. Well, I'm, I'm very close to having what I need to have. I could certainly... I'm at a point where I could do one or two little things and call this finished. But I'm still just messing around with a couple little things. Um, I, I can put a couple axes and take that little uh, mantis for a quick spin. That's one good way to do it. I was worried at some point I would go through something. Um, let me see. Take my guy over there real quick. And I'll sail around the boat and take a look at it. Yeah, I'm pretty stoked with that. Yeah, that looks good. All right, I'm going to quickly grab my mantis, gather up a little wood. Alrighty. I don't need too much. Okay. So yeah, the mantis is great for just like jack of all trades ability. Just swap out that. Boom. go so yeah it can chop wood it can gather stone it can gather do pretty much anything it's weight weight is not fantastic yet that's part of the problem wait i feel this kind of like the ultimate downfall of every gathering creature though yeah oh uh, this guy i will slowly jack him up there it's on this server it's pretty good you get nice kind of per level bonuses on that stuff right oh yeah Get it, get him pretty full. Oh yeah, I just got him up to 1400 for weight. That's not bad. All right, give him one more chop at one more tree. Whoops. <laughs> he keeps breaking rocks that I don't want him to break. I guess, yeah, he'll just break whatever, whatever's close. Take that out. He's an overachiever. Yeah. Slow in the water. That's the big downfall of the, the mantis. Never seen a mantis in action before. Yeah, Rogar helped me tame one last episode and was talking about how useful they are. Last live stream, I mean, I think. At some point, either Saturday or Sunday. Why did you just jump him on the boat? Yeah, that would have been would have been smart. I don't know. I, he's quite full. Living in the moment. Yeah. Well, I got it. I need time to look at chat anyway, so do, <laughs> doing time-wasting things isn't the worst thing in the world. But yeah, he's a, he's a bad swimmer. I'll get there soon. There we go. I'll put him... He's going to go on this big boat eventually anyway, so... Alright, and I will pull over ch -ch -ch, some wood. Let's see what he's got. Not a crazy amount, but that's a decent start. Perfect. And then, what did I say I needed? Uh, door frame. So we'll go one of those, two of those. Uh, what was the other thing? Uh, oh, triangle ceilings. I remember that now. Alright, and I want a bunch of these. Let's go three, two, boom. Uh, 
Alright. So I will take those. Those. Alright. Come on up. Okay, cool. Yeah, it looks good from this side. I think I can can from from the way that I've got it set up so far, I think I like. Door frames are gonna go like that and like that and yeah at the moment I just need a bunch more of those those triangles that I got crafting. Do you think that 30 will be enough? Do you want me to make some more? Uh, I am not sure exactly what I'm doing with them. Oh there's a piece of wood attached. It's in the middle of that that wall. I'll fix it when I get in there. I'll certainly take whatever's whatever whatever I got for now. Another 18. That should definitely get get a bunch of work done. Yeah, so I'm thinking the back area you'll be able to bring a dino in, load and unload to some storage stuff. The front of the boat will have room for actual dinosaurs. I'll have my crafting stations stuff along the sides of this uh, little stern area. Do, I, do you want to see? I think I must be there, but do you think uh, there is a uh, one of the reinforced dino gates, I think, sitting somewhere? Just in that uh, one of those two sure, tables? I'm pretty sure one of them has it. Yeah, I think I've seen it. Let me look. Alright. Alright. I'm just putting in... I think these will be the sort of catwalk bits, if I call them that. I think I might have made just about the right amount of those. Um, you said just the gate piece, right? Not the frame. Uh, yes, just the gate. That's I was. That's the only piece I was, I'm missing for the the inner of the two gates. Yeah, it's here on this back one. Okay. So let's take these last few triangles. Go take the reinforced. Yep, I see it. Beautiful. Okay, I think. Pretty sweet. I don't know. I'm hesitant how much, uh, how many wooden railings to put on, and where to where to put them on. So far, I've only used them in one spot. Kept it fairly minimal. going strong I see yeah I think I'm just about at the end of it my man I, I'm feeling feeling pretty good about uh, the final final results um, maybe that and that is all I need we'll see red said your music stopped again music diddy I'm I'm hearing the music I might be somebody says music is good too I don't know who to listen to there Oh, no, it was, uh, they're asking what kind of, uh, well, who the music is from. That was what they were asking. Oh, okay. Okay, let's try that. Um, so yeah, some of it, the chilled out acoustic stuff is Josh Woodward is the artist. Uh, and then the more upbeat, um, uh, stuff is, uh, DJ Quads are the two that I tend generally have going on streams. So weird mix, but it's a mix of, like, chilled out and more upbeat stuff. I like it. it suits me. Um, I think that will work. Man, it feels like a boat. 
it looks like a boat. I mean, I'm watching the stream now, but it looks like a boat. Like, yeah. There's like a slight delay in the stream, but that's fine. But it's, uh, I think, yeah, well, from what I've seen, it's good. I think I'm going to make two wooden door frames, and I think uh, maybe three or four sets of wooden uh, stairs, the ramps. I think that's. I'm trying to think of what else to add to it, how else to get it looking the way I want. And I could definitely s spam more railings in there. I just don't know if I want to yet. We'll see. Oh, Red's asking who the other who the other guy was. It was DJ Quads and... Josh Woodward. The link should be in the description for Red. I think it's joshwoodward.com. W-O-O-D-W-A-R-D. Something like that. Uh, <laughs> All right. Uh, take those. Beautiful, that can work. Thank you, sir. And what was the other thing I said? Railing. And stairs, I think I said too. Yes, perfect. Okay, cool. I'll take those. Um, boom and ramp. go okay cool i'll wait for some of this stuff to craft and then i think we're sitting pretty there's not a whole lot more to do other than eventually transferring over uh, the stations and stuff but i think for the stream i can leave it as just a, a finished build worry about repositioning stuff and workflow efficiency and where things should all go after that storage You're tables taking, and you haven't taken it for a spin have you no i'm the goal is yeah put these last couple things in and then let's do that yeah, I'm still logging in on now. I'm a four of uh, five of fourteen now, so. Okay, cool. Well, it sounds like you will likely be here in time to hop on the boat and go for a spin if you want to. I hope so. It sounds like fun. Okay, cool. Uh, ch -ch -ch. I don't think I need that anymore. Get rid of those. Yeah, Aurora Hatcher uh, has to leave because she can, her phone is dying and her sister's making her uh, oh. do hers. So she's so she can't unplug it. Otherwise, her sister get mad. So that happens. Yeah, have, have have a good one, Aurora. Yeah, one of these walls. There we go. I was gonna say one one of these things was out of whack. Oh, Waldo's saying that we need beacons and a light source. Yeah, I. I yeah, we'll, well get we'll get to that. I'll have to, to the figure that all out. Um, yeah, which which sort of decorative bits to add to it? That's what I wanted. Okay. So that looks all right. Climb up. Okay. So this takes me up here. This is one of the spots I was going to put in ramps, if I can make them work. Like that. And that makes doom doom doom. Yep, that can work. Nope. <laughs> Ark giving me trouble. Ark main arc. There we go. Yeah, I've got a school. Oh, go ahead, man. Uh, school ninja just popped in and say hello. So. Oh, there you go. New people popping in. Beacons, light source needed. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I keep falling off things every time I look at chat. <laughs> wow, man, but it's still, man, we're still 67 and still going strong, man. Yeah. Uh, how, I don't know what my total time is at. It's got to be close I, to I think you, just, I think you just hit the three. Oh, yeah. I'm technically two minutes from three, so that's very close. Stash this here. Um, and I think we're pretty much done. People have gotten the ma to see the majority of what they wanted to see. Yeah, I'm almost there. I'm a nine, nine out of 14, so. Okay. So one thing I'm going to try is... Uh, so PC did win that one. The, the, uh, the, uh... Oh, the poll thing? Oh, uh, yeah, the poll, yeah, it won uh, with 60%. 24 is PS4 and 13% is Xbox right now. Okay. There we go, that's fun. Half, but close to half-half. Interesting. I don't know what else to do to do right now. 
<laughs> I'm on my way, man. I'm on my way. I want to get in that boat right Yeah, there. for sure. Um, I think I've given it most of what it needs. See how this looks from the sides. It might look strange. Or I might want to lower down these. I think that might be the trick. Perfect. I think that gives me what I want. Uh, yeah, I feel pretty good about that. We'll see. All right, I'm going to pull it around then. We'll see about picking people up with it. Okay, so we get different camera views we can do. Okay, that one's probably the one. Yeah, that looks great from the from the big, big zoomed out view. The nine times or whichever. This is only the six and it's plenty. The nine would make you feel like you're playing a total war game, I think. Like you're that zoomed out, it looks like a real-time strategy. Um, here, let me try, I'll try backing in and see how that back gate works. Do you want to try pull the mammoth on? Or mammoth, uh, mantis? Excuse me? Sure. Did I pick a super awkward position for the gate? I think so. And Meliforium is wishing the chair that he, he or she could log in. The computer's having a fit. Oh, no way. Yeah, with with PC with the Arc and YouTube going on at the same time, it, it'll give a fit. Yeah, Mel is Mel lives on a pretty great island, that uh, that little one with the bridge and everything. Uh, okay, that worked pretty good, eh? Pretty well. Yeah, yeah. Looks like it works. And really then, well. I mean, you get the angle of the island, and but you, you're fine. And you bring this guy through; he fits in here, no problem. And then I never put this gate up, but we're gonna we're thinking. Oh, that's the wrong gate. That's the beh that's the behemoth one. I think that's why. <laughs> I think that's why that one was left in the, uh, uh, whatchamacallit, in the station. I'll go make one more of these small gates, I think is what we need. And then I'm thinking, yeah, I'll use that inner bit for storing dinosaurs and the outer bit, uh, let me see here. Yeah, yeah, Waldo, we're, uh, uh, he's actually ba basically just putting everything in here so that way he can transport it so uh, when he finally gets to the place where he wants to build, uh, he'll be able to build there. Yeah, and this will be able to clear some of the stuff out of that little uh, Jaboa Ranch area so that maybe tomorrow I can work on that and turn that into something that isn't lame like it has been for a while, so. <laughs> yeah, he was saying that we needed a dock, so. Okay. Um, and reinforce gate gate. Okay, that's all I need. Ooh, it's throwing me off. That boat was in one place the whole time. Now it's back. I just went careening off the edge. All right, so the gate here. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. So that this will be like a secure place to put stuff. Uh, should be totally sealed in. Yeah, I think that could work. I don't know about getting up and down from those little side, side ones. I don't know if we need catwalks or what. Yeah, man, I'm, I mean, now this boat looks amazing. It turned out pretty good, and it doesn't have a paint job or anything yet. I don't like the lighting, the way the lighting looks on the bottom of these triangle ceilings. It, it looks super it strange. It is weird, though, yeah, it is weird. Yeah, but you, you make the most of what you got. Actually, it does look like, you know, like, like it's uh, being, like, glazed. Yeah. Basically, so, you, uh, yeah, it looks actually nice and shiny. Yeah, not quite the look where we're going for, but it'll work. Oh, stupid lag. That was in the perfect position. It might change a bit when you paint it. Yeah, it's clearly... Whoops. Dang it. It's clearly the, the way the light's coming through. What do you think about getting up and down from the side catwalk things? Because this is great for getting you uh, to the actual cockpit thing. Uh, the bridge where you could have like a spotter. But getting down onto those little side ones, I could... I could do a ramp up. I'm trying to figure out a way that we could make it work. Like how you get onto these two, these little uh, two and a half wall high things that line up with the front deck. Like I don't know the best way up and down from there. I could have a second hatch frame closer to the front. Yeah, I was gonna here. say a hatch frame, hatch frame along the side, and then just uh, get a uh, or, the ladder is coming up. Uh, I could put the hatch frame right right here in the middle. I think that might be the place to do it because that's the same height. All right, so I'll make a couple more ladders, one more hatch frame. Uh, yeah. Yeah, no, you could really, you could spend a lot of time just tweaking and, and perfecting it, but we'll just get a couple more things in so it, it feels functional. 
and then uh, take it take it out. Uh, let me see. Hatch. Now, I think you only ran out of wood, right? I mean, you saw I, what I was seeing. Yeah. You guys saw a lot of stone and stuff like that, so that's good. Yes, idea. and even then, we gathered. I gathered in a split second. I gathered a little bit with this uh, the dinos we have here, so it was easy. All right, and grab a couple of trap doors. I want a hatch frame. And a ladder. So I'm thinking a couple wooden ladders for this one. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, I delayed. I, I've kept the stream going longer than I should. I forgot we have the boss battle thing to do. I don't want to keep people waiting too long on that. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's um, uh, delaying. That's one of okay. those things. Well, I'll wrap this bad boy up and... and and get back to that. I didn't mean to keep these those guys on us or waiting on me. All right. So put a hatch frame right there. Perfect. Ladder coming down. And another ladder. Sometimes ladders are, give you a pain when you try and climb them, though. Was it just that guy being in the position he was in? I guess so. Yeah, it's his hitbox. Yeah, that's all right. Uh, put hatch frame. Oops, I just hatch framed you. <laughs> okay, that's so not that much. That yeah. gives away up and down, and I'll put another little trap door up in this one. And I think that's good. All right. Well, I'll get on. You guys are on it already, eh? That's nice. So, yeah. I'll zoom out. And take it just to see how it does the turning radius on the advanced drafts is pretty great though right it's pretty pretty hard to get yourself in a position you can't and you can back up with them which is excellent yeah my favorite feature of advanced drafts <laughs> yeah oh yeah it's it's great and i think the i'll pull it up closer to where a rally spot is over here leave it there for the uh For the day figure out what the plan is for tomorrow but i'll pull this over there and then hopefully yeah I, like i said i didn't mean to keep those guys waiting i said i would be done right around one streaming and it's probably an hour after that so let's look in here i think we would be generally safe from the leads like this right <laughs> i wouldn't have too much to worry about didn't mean to close that on you sorry oh you're great yeah yes. i fell out as well but oh well it's, it's fine all right i think that could work right there i'll leave it there for the time being get up top of this okay cool no that turned out good do you guys think it obviously you said it already but i think it's got a decent look to it you could probably even have a second smokestack if i wanted it to the way that this, yeah, this it, version's yeah, been designed it, it i think it's longer and bigger than the first version i did so yeah cool okay well i think i will um wrap things up then guys i'll, I'll um i'll uh i'm gonna say i'll pull up my chat here just make sure I've seen everything. Okay, cool. I'm going to deafen or mute myself uh, from you guys, and I'll just do a quick outro. Thank you guys for hanging out. Yeah, no problems, man. And thanks D, for having me. And D, thanks for all the prep, dude. Very much appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, no problems, man. No cool. problems whatsoever. Awesome. All right, guys, so I think that does it. I'm going to try and find one song to play us out on. We'll see what it wants to play us out on. And, yeah, I did take, take a little longer than I intended, so... Yeah, I'll have a we'll play that one. Cool. Okay, guys. Well, I think that does it for today. We are aiming to stream again tomorrow morning. If you haven't, there is a link in the description for um, Monkey Man's giveaway. So, a uh, fun stream. We made it last a little bit longer. Uh, Monkey Man giving away a copy of Osiris New Dawn. If you haven't seen the game, now is the time to click on the other link of his. That'll take you to hit his live stream from last week. But today we built the boat. Tomorrow we'll do something fun either on this server or another one. I don't know what we have in store for tomorrow, but it'll be uh, definitely maybe like 11 to 12.30. It won't be as long as stream. So that's why we let this one go long. Um, shout out to my Patreon supporters. Um, since last week, the Patreon support has been crazy. I think who signed up the last spot. So last week from the Sunday stream, I had Julia, Psycho Fu, Melrose, uh, Jason, Siamwad. Uh, Jacob, an increased pledge from Jungle Mods, a pledge from Dwayne, uh, 
two for people leaving, Mugsy and Zachary. Um, thank you for the support while it lasted, guys. And the new pledges from a guy named Dustin. Uh, increased pledge from Wiz. A uh, new pledge from somebody named Chaos Untamed. Another pledge from a guy named Dustin. Um, and that was the whole week. So that's assuming nobody did anything today. If not, we're golden. But I just wanted to run down all the folks who took the time to sign up this week. That's great. And maybe we'll get a few new signups next week or uh, on the stream. But the Patreon's doing great. It's letting me pursue my dream, which is making YouTube videos full time. Um, and yeah, I wouldn't be able to do that without you guys. So uh, thank you for the support. I'm pretty happy with Boat that we messed around with today. I really have no complaints. I think it looks great. Got a little backup, lots of backup from Dynamic D, so shout out to that guy. And then um, shout out to the moderators in chat, you guys making things happen. Um, last thing, I guess, if you ever need a cheap server, go get the Logic servers using our link. But other than that, we're perfect. We made this boat, and I'll be back tomorrow. Um, yeah, that's it. Thank you. Love you guys, and we will see you in the next stream.